Watson Wesley to get out and get fucked up. What's going on? Where is it at? Make some calls to make it crack. Let's see. I need money, drugs, and ride in the spot with hot ones and socks. The mission. To get all of the above in a limited amount of time. I can do this in a stunt. Like that, we're on our way. Be it acid on the tongue, cocaine in your brain. Or some weed that hits your lungs like a run. The way train, hell yeah, bro. DMT to MDMA. Got all this shit and more, so till dawn, we're okay. But anyway. Fuck a line every time. Get in, get a drink, get lose some mind.
Good evening, everybody. Um, welcome to the stream. Um, I'm very excited about this. Um, um, I'm very excited to play this game. And this is a bit of an improv stream for me because I was, I was going to stream this. I was going to stream this. Um, and my very good friend, one of my best friends of all time, Kendorable... Um, announced that tomorrow they're going to be streaming it, and I really want to watch them stream it, but I haven't played this game, and so I decided, fuck it, I'm going to play this tonight, and I'll watch them play it tomorrow. Um, sorry, Ken, that you can't watch this because you haven't played it, but I just, I really wanted to be there, uh, for, for your stream, because this game is, looks fucking great. Um, in case you don't know, we're watching, we're playing Project B for today. Um, or B dash fur. I I'm sure it's just pronounced Project Beefer. Um. Um and um, yeah. The, um. Now you may be wondering why you may you may not be, but if you're not my friend, you may be wondering why am I so excited to play this game? Well, um, this game um is I'm fairly certain it is Zero Escape inspired. And Zero Escape is an incredible game that I never did finish streaming. I will finish it one day. Uh, I will maybe finish streaming it. Um, but that's not the case today. And um, we got, a, But we do have a few other streams I need to get to before that. That being the chat's choice of Hypnospace Outlaw. Which, can we talk about that before I get started on this? I'm sorry. So I did the chat's choice poll on Twitter. And then on the second to last poll... For some reason, at like midnight, the creator of Hypnospace Outlaw retweeted the fucking post and got it to like 400 votes. Hypnospace Outlaw basically winning by a landslide, which. What the hell? <laughs> uh, he's not watching the stream, but thank you for that. Um, and um, yeah, for that, we're going to be playing Hypnospace Outlaw. I want to say uh sometime this week or next week maybe i might do it this week uh i have tuesday and wednesday off um but yeah i'll probably maybe do it one of those days if not we also have an art request stream that i gotta do which i'm still trying to figure out how i want to do that because i'm not an artist and i i'm not an artist that well um and i'll probably just do like ms paint with my mouse probably because that's probably the best i can do right now unless i can figure out some way to do pen and paper but regardless that's the side of the point those will be happening that's not why we're here today so we are playing uh project beefer which is a zero escape inspired game i'm fairly certain i'm fairly confident in calling it that um and this game was um i'm bringing directly off the itch.io page this game was made in about three weeks by a team of artists streamers and content creators during development chat was able to suggest themes character tidbits and inspiration that helped shape the game into the product it is today so one that's really cool i love the entire concept of just chats or like people influencing like the outcome of a product i always think that's a very fun concept and the fact that this is a full game 
that was made in just a few short weeks is insane. And I cannot commend them enough for doing that. Commend the devs enough for doing that. That is incredible. That's an incredible feat. Maybe it's been done before. Maybe it hasn't. I don't know. Probably has. Um, and on top of that, the people who made this game are some of my best fucking friends. Um, we have um, Cas Randy Casitamono, um, Perpetual Reality, um, Cafeka Gaming. Um, uh, we have Blue Kisses and Fishy Artists. But on top of that, we also have AMGG, um, pu uh, Pure or um, or Afure. Um, we have um, uh, I'm so sorry for butchering. Uh, camp, sorry, Camperry Games. Uh, Ren Camperry Games. Um, uh, we have uh, Jittercat. Uh, Jill Jittercat, who I saw in the chat um, earlier. We have uh, Kuma TM. And we have um, Isaac Schultz, who did the music for this, and um, uh, and uh, Joe Brett, or Reverb in the Void, um, who is a sound designer for games. Um, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That is 12 people who, uh, Team Streamscope, made this game in three weeks. And they just updated it too, um, which, regardless of how I'm going to feel about the game, I'm very excited for it. Regardless of how I feel, without any bias ahead of time with it being made by my friends, however, that is incredibly awesome that it is. You made this game in three weeks. Regardless of whatever outcome I think of this, that is insanely impressive and no amount of anything can underplay that. And I commend you for doing that. That is an incredible feat. Um, with that being said, let's just um, do some quick ground rules before I get into the game. Um, first off, this is an 18 plus stream. If you're not over 18, uh, please leave. This is not just for your safety, but for everyone else's, but especially your safety because we say some rude and crass things sometimes. Um, on top of that, if you're over 18, please don't be fucking gross. Please don't be a bigot, racist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic, um, just a xenophobe of any kind. We do not tolerate that here. You will be banned. Um, if you played this game, please do not backseat. Um, I have people who are waiting in call, and I know one of them has played this game. If I need help, I will ask them. This game also takes only like two to three hours of gameplay. So I may not need that much of help. Um, on And on top of that, um, uh, we have, um, we still have the travel fund up in the top right corner. Um, uh, all funds for that go to, um, go to me and our, and my trip, my Canada trip, which is happening. Uh, we don't have the goals anymore, so that's not going on. But if you feel like you're enjoying the stream and like what I do, um, Feel free to drop a dollar my way. Any little bit helps. However, focus on yourself first and foremost if you're not in a safe financial space to do so. Um, please just um, take care of yourself. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the stream. And let's hop over. I think I need to... I forgot to open up um, the VTubing software. Um, let me quickly unmute real quick. Fuck! No, I don't. Um, hi, I got. I forgot to open Vito Tube Mini, so my so I am the bunny is gone. There is no rabbit on the screen. The, the there's now a rabbit on the screen. It's okay, guys. It's okay. Okay. Um. Now. Oh, guys, it's okay. All right. Friends cannot be heard on stream. Fuck. Um. Um, hold on. Uh, properties. F fuck. Discord. Properties. Hello? Hello? There we go. Hello. Now there's an audio. Now there's audio on the stream. All right. Hooray. All right. How is the audio compared to me and my friends? Um. Hi. 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 Hi, 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 hi. Da, 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 da. Right. 
All right. Um, I haven't done a bunch of. I gotta extract the 1.2 dot um dash win file for this game. Um, Billy. Now I know you've played this. Yes. Billy is specifically a bit, bit quiet. Billy tends to be a bit quiet. Uh, I can, I can, mia. I will turn Billy up on Discord. Um, all right. Um, Billy, you have played this. I know that. Yes. Um, Billy Acha, played. have you played this? I was actually possibly the first person to play it. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> no, Whoa. Not, actually, not for a fact, I cannot confirm that, but I do believe that I'm the first person outside of the core developer group to, uh, to play, play it. it. And play it? I am, oh, pretty good. Nice. I do uh, suggest, uh, like, uh, viewers to try it out for themselves, if they so desire, because it's, a. Uh, hey, if you liked uh, 999, if you liked, uh, like, VLR and all that, like, yeah, try it out. Nice. If you like to, your turn to die, you're gonna like this one too. What yeah. about AI the Somnium files? Uh, I don't know about that series. Gotcha. I never heard of that Windows series. Windows protected ever your life. PC. Microsoft this Defender Spart Screen prevented an unrecognized app it's from starting. Fine. Uh, running this app might put your PC um, at risk, I'm... but they're my friends. Why would they put my? Why would they make me install a virus on my computer? It's like a survey program. It's okay. All right, let's. Windows detected it that it was made by a transgender folks, and uh, it said no, no. All right, <laughs> get let's... programming. All right, all right, and then let's make sure that the game audio is this game. And, oh yeah. Uh, let me turn this down though. It is loud. Options, uh, music volume. Let me turn the game up a bit. Um, and uh, windowed full screen window. I'm fine. Um, all right. Um, I'm very excited for to play this. I'm very excited. Um, should I be excited to play this? I think you that... enjoy it. All right. I think you will enjoy it. All right. Let me screen share the game to you guys because I'm not screen sharing it. Um... Oh yeah. Actually, look at the stream. You made me remember that uh, at some point I should probably make like a transparent version of my avatar just to like make it less jarring to have like a. A fucking square. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, you can just go to a fucking, like, uh... God, what's the website? Billy, do you know remember what the website is again? Uh, 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 no. Oh, uh, hold on, let me go into my fucking OBS. Filter... No, no not don't. Filters. You don't have to do it right now. It's... I'm not going to do it right now, but I just need... But, like... Yeah, reactive.fugi.tech uh, you'll want to go to. Um, to add, like, talks right stuff. Anyways, uh, Beefer, let's go. N new game, Beefer. just like, just like that one anime that was fine from my knowledge. Ah, Dragon Ball Z. No, um, that's also about game development. Dragon Ball Z is about game development? No, no it's not. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Kakarot! You have forgotten to transfer the .zip file to my Discord. Oh fuck! What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Ooh. I'm really... Ow. Yeah. Where? What? Uh, who wants to be this voice? Billy, do you want to be uh, this one? Sh or... Sure. Sure. I'll be Vel. I'll be this mysterious character. Oh, you finally up. Who? Ugh, my head. First of all, I gotta say, overgrown stuff like this, this just makes me think of Annihilation. I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It'll go away after a bit. You look to see a person wearing the most and simultaneously the least. You feel yourself staring, but it's not your fault you missed the memo for the Macaroni Art Club. This character design already, I adore. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure Randy did 
a lot of the a lot of if not all the character art for this i would assume uh it, it was it was like a, a fusion everyone all worked on stuff and nice. they like all drew it yeah. <laughs> the Clavier Gavin, Clavier Gavin and his horror arc. <laughs> the uh, concept art was like a fusion thing, and then Randy, like, I believe, finalized the design. Like, I did think. the drawings and stuff like that? Okay. Nice. He gives you a look, then clicks his tongue in an oddly specific pattern. Click, click, click. Aww. He stops clicking and just stares at you. You avert your eyes, mildly embarrassed and weirded out, and try to focus on your surroundings instead. I'll take that as a no, then. Gotta say, how is the game volume compared to me, um, compared to my friends? How is our volume compared to all of that? Just curious, out of curiosity. Just wanna make sure everything sounds good and nothing's, like, too over the top. <laughs> a teeny bit louder? Who? Uh, what's a teeny bit louder? Then you guys? Okay. How's this? How's this sounding? Is that too quiet or is that good? Better? Okay. If anyone says otherwise, I would fix it. Alright. He sounds annoyed. What are you- Then he starts moving his hands in patterns you vaguely recognize as some form of sign language. He wasn't annoyed, you just re you realize just attempting communication with you. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> then she doesn't want to listen to- Can we- You said it second! I do want to listen to you though! <laughs> Guess that one's a no too. <laughs> Attempting communication obnoxiously, that is. You decide to change the subject. Where... Uh, uh... Where are we? Your guess is good as mine glasses. Glasses? You're wearing them, aren't you? Uh, not right now. I don't wear glasses. I... Hold on. Should... Do, do I have... Hold on. I... I don't wear glasses. However, I may have glasses near me to make this more accurate um i gotta check um i have imax 3d glasses do it for the bit do it for the bit, the bit. hold on i gotta you can't oh. take them off till the game's over yeah um hold on give me just one second i gotta um um i gotta huh, google something real quick. 3d glasses just like that character from homestead I think you deserve to be put in the electric chair. Yum. Electricity. Yum, yum. Volts. Mm. A lot of volts. Yum. Um, hold on. Anyway, guys, welcome to uh, Doll uh, Dress Up uh, Stream. We're playing uh, the games uh, from uh, Kung Fu Gate, and... Um, Flash games and um, yeah, we're yeah. playing dress up El Latino. This fucking shit. It's like not. Hold on. It's not like it's not going into like a PNG format. Uh, uh tools, type, clip art. Yeah. Okay, oh. I'll type clip art. No. I, I I want I'm trying to the fuck <laughs> <laughs> type clip art. Okay, um Well uh I'm sorry I'm derailing the stream for one particular reason and one particular reason only, and that is to fulfill this bit. Um, hold on. You know how it is. You know how it is. Mm -hmm. 
Hey guys, check it out. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something that you've never heard before. Oh. Wow. Wow. So cool. Yeah. I'm imagining small little creature breakdancing. <laughs> yeah. That's the that, that is the idea. <laughs> wow. I'm so. This is. I'm. <laughs> Hold on, I should feel like I Loki. should. Sometimes bits cannot. Sometimes our bits must remain in yeah. our screens. I. No, this is. This is not saying. I'm literally. I'm literally opening up fucking paint. Paint.net. <laughs> on stream to do this fucking bit so I can get this done. Um. Fuck. Okay. There it uh, is. Fuck. Um, <laughs> well, what happens if I do, no, we got a, okay, uh, solid co color, percent, 50 percent, no, fuck, what does hardness do, is that, like, can I, can I see through that, I, I'm trying to make it so you can still see my eyes through it, in some form or fashion. Uh, fill percent, 25. Oh my god, I- <laughs> How do you- How do you make it so that, like, colors are, like, transparent, or, like, see-through on paint.net? I don't know. I've never used paint that yet. <laughs> Opacity! Perfect! Yippee! Fuck! No, hold on. Uh, undo. Uh, solid color. We're so back. It's so over. We're so back. It's all over. It's time. It's not over. It's over, isn't it? It's not it's over. over. We are not Jover today, fucker. <laughs> Chat, is this anything? <laughs> this is what Project Beef is all about. <laughs> this is what Project Beef is all about. Okay. Uh, save as... Um... PNG to my desktop. Closing paint.net. Adding image. It, upload image. Browse. Desktop. Oh my god. We Here fucking did it! <laughs> Let's go. There it is. Well. Let's we are earning the title of glasses. We got glasses. We are earning the title of glasses. Almost. There we go. Fuck. Okay, hold on. Hey, uh, gotta make them slight. Well, trip. <laughs> it's fine. Well, nope. There we go. <laughs> you know what? It adds to the charm. It adds, it adds to, the to the charm. charm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I gotta put my glasses on. Now my actual 3D glasses on. Oh, <laughs> Actually, you know what? We're that's right. It's a face. There we go. Now. The fuck. There we go. No, what God. if I ho what if I hop up in it? No. You hold know, on. The, you know the funniest thing. You could have just erased like the back. No. <laughs> There we uh, go. Glasses, but yeah. There we go. Alright. You're wearing them, are you? I am now, fucker! <laughs> your hand hovers awkwardly by your face where you just pushed your glasses up by the bridge. Upon realizing this, you hastily snatch your hand away and hide it behind your back. Well, uh, yeah, uh, whatever you say, nails. 
Lucy put on some nails. That's not me, though. Uh, you mentally snap yourself in the face. Nails? Is that the best you can do? He raises an eyebrow and holds his hand up, fanning his fingers out for you to see. Their color blocked according to the Fibonacci sequence, and they glow in the dark. Cool, right? You are so awesome. Be my best friend. No. You nod, you nod wordlessly. Thankfully, he let that one slide and examined the room you're in. The room is small and confusing. Large, unfamiliar plants sprout from the seats and block out the harsh yellow lights. Glass creeps in patches across the floor. Ivy snakes around tarnished metal poles and ribbon-like vines hang from the ceiling. Some sort of pamphlet or newsletter lies discarded in the aisle. One row of seats seems to have taken out um, and replaced by a display box with a cardboard diorama and several figurines scattered across it. There's only one large box-shaped lock. There's painted text on the door that reads, Escape. What in the? Zero. Your heart stutters. The adrenaline has already be begun coursing through your veins. Escape. Oh, awesome glasses. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Have you tried the door? No, there's a lock on it. Is he making fun of you? Right. He puts one hand on your shoulder and looks you dead in his eye. In the eyes, his face is completely neutral. Glasses, you should try it. But you just. I bet hypothesis can only be tested through trial and error. It's a scientific method. Everyone knows this. Well, I'm gonna put my hand on it. It's gonna fucking electrocute me. <laughs> That's not. I. I don't think. Ignoring you, he nods with satisfaction like you just agreed, which you clearly didn't. He saunters towards the door and waves you over. You don't want to. For one, it's obviously locked. For another, who does he think he is to order you around anyways? Still, his self-assuredness is reassuring, if a bit annoying. He's got the air of an owl disguised as a peacock. It doesn't look like he has any ill intent. Watch him have ill intent. Reluctantly. Hmm? That particular line of uh, he looks like an owl disguised as a peacock. I love that line, and it was written by uh, Chaz. Nice! Kafeka Gaming! Uh, Kafeka is cool gaming! Reluctantly, you follow him to the door. Up close, you can see the door is wooden with a large electronic lock attached beneath the handle. Yep, there's a lock on it. You look at him out of the side of your eye. What's his game? Go on. It's clearly. Just try it. What if I was? What if I was lying? You squint at him. He looks back at you. His face is still neutral. I fucking love this guy already. <laughs> it's just like, I'll fucking not do it. You you can't think of a comeback. With grave difficulty, you suppress your annoyance and tuck at the handle as hard as you can. Electrocution. It doesn't budge. Happy. Thank you. <laughs> Somehow even funnier than electrocution. <laughs> Nothing. He looks sincere. <laughs> you can't get a read on this guy. Putting that aside, you look over to the door again. It looks like it slides open. Maybe there's a way to trick the lock? They got us in here somehow. So there's gotta be a way out, right? Uh... As you trail off, you realize he's already wandered away. You spot him crouched down a few feet away, fiddling with something. It's obscured by his rings and nails. He looks up at you and beckons you over, one long jewel dotted nail flashing in your vision momentarily. You can't help but squint at him. Glasses, look at this. This guy, what exactly about you gave him the impression you'd be his little helper? It can't just be the glasses, but the glasses that barely fit on my head. These glasses? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's Agnes. Could he even hear you at that volume? Whatever. You're not hit. You're not his personal assistant. Glasses, it's important. Look here. You continue investigating the door. 
It's a very sturdy door, but maybe the lock can be bashed in? The door is made of wood and polished with polish, probably. Now that you're looking, it looks worn. Oh, oh Katie Razbunny with the raid of nine people. Welcome to the stream. Hi, welcome. Welcome to Project Beefer. Download Project Beefer yeah. today. On oh the boy, TV. another Beefer stream. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Um, yes, I am playing a uh, Project Beefer. I'm very excited about this game, um, and I'm having a great time with it already. Um, we, you literally missed me spending five minutes because uh, whoever this guy is called me glasses. And I found glasses in real life, put them on, and had to put a pair of glasses on my, my PNG tuber. We spent five minutes doing that. Now we're playing the game. <laughs> well, hi. Welcome. Welcome, Raiders. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Lucy, um, a.k.a. Midwestrogen. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, and, yeah, I know you just came from Project Beefer, but hope you enjoy Project Beefer again. Stick if you decide to stick around. If you don't, that's okay. I'm happy to have you here regardless. Same okay. As the first, same as the first. Yeah. Okay. He'll admit it. You're ignoring him. And no, you're not being petty. It's just uh, his attitude, his vibes, whatever. Hey, look. Huh. You turn your head and he's right next to you, leaning against the door. You recoil away right before you thrust the paper in front of your face. I might tell you more than a door can. Seriously, what's with this guy sneaking up on a stranger like that? What if he had a stress-induced heart attack and died? Does he get some <laughs> sick thrill out of this? What if you... Lift the glasses? What, need me to read it to you? Are you illiterate? <laughs> Are you a liberal? <laughs> All Are liberals liberal? can't <laughs> Are you a liberal? <laughs> Of course, you have blonde hair and pronouns. <laughs> you snatch the paper from his hand and give him your most ferocious glare. He holds his hands up, eyebrows raised, and slowly backs away to settle across the nearest row of seats in a heap of elegant limbs. Now that you've relaxed just a bit, you can finally take a look at the note. It reads, Human Observation Log Number 3. Finally acquired sufficient number of subjects, along with qualitative data regarding personality and interests. Next, drop subjects A and V in a room. Um, observe object slash environmental interactions. Design puzzle A according to Earth records. Sense of familiarity may correlate with subjects' productivity. Make them feel at home. What the hell is this? He shrugs. You're too busy trying to process the onslaught of technical words to get annoyed this time. As much as it pains me to admit, I'm in a dock here. The implications are obvious, but... Ah, Jittercat, thank you for the follow! A brief look of disdain fits across his face as he shakes his head. For a moment, you worry if it's directed at you, but his gaze is fixed on the note in your hands. You reread the note to get a better grasp of the important parts, muttering out loud to AMGG, thank you for the follow! Uh, muttering out loud to try and reorganize your scattered thoughts. Human observation log, Earth records? Make them feel at home? All this for. How stupid do you think? Ugh, I just can't believe. Seems like it's your turn to look disdainful. You really can't help it. You got knocked out and kidnapped for j just for a goddamn alien prank? It's enough to have you craning your neck to look for cameras. No cameras. Just plants. Great! Nothing's ever easy for you. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Ugh, seriously, it's fine. You don't have the time to fixate on this. If you don't say something productive in the next next few seconds, you're gonna make this gonna make an even worse fool of yourself. Is nothing easy? No, unfortunately. It so sucks. Um, sorry. Ignore that. If, uh, it's, a uh, there's a puzzle and the door's locked, so it's probably an escape room, I think. Right? So, we should probably find 
the puzzle? Yes, that's usually the best course of action. The puzzle's over there. I'll leave that up to you. Your investigator further will be far more effective with this diorama. He rolls onto his back and motions vaguely behind his head towards the display stand. In the meantime, I'll keep an eye on things. It's something... Hmm. I'll figure it out later. An eye on things? He's just sitting there. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Indignance flares within you once again. You're literally just... Hmm? Ah. Sorry, did you say something? <laughs> I love this guy so much. <laughs> the worst part is you can't tell if he's being sarcastic. Fine, doesn't matter. I'll solve the puzzle by myself. Staring off into space like he's doing rapid mental math. You grit your teeth and shuffle over the display with staunch determination. You're solving this puzzle even if it kills you. This dude is so fucking oomphy to me. <laughs> I love him. What will you do? Wait. Talk to your partner, look around the room. Uh, look around the room. Uh, look around the room. Taking a close look at the diorama, it seems that, like the type that belongs in a children's museum. Figurines shaped like a child, a caveman, a cowboy, and a T-Rex sit on one side of a painted river. A wooden boat sits on the river, capable of sliding between both banks while carrying up to two figurines. At the top of the box, it says, can you get them all across? with some instructions. The side of the box has many pictures of the figurines of text about them. Thoughts? Uh, God, again? Whatever happened to common courtesy? Did his parents raise him in a barn? You can't keep getting away with this! I think you got this. Either he didn't notice you, your moment of fear or he's choosing to ignore it. Decide to follow his cue and pretend it never happened. How do you respond? What will you do? Not to break it. Mm hmm. He nods decisively like he's satisfied. Do go on. You. Can't you help? Well, you said you got it. He crosses one you leg over the other, pulls a super pen from a mysterious it. pocket, and begins absent mindedly spinning between his fingers. A complicated pen. <laughs> I love this guy. I can't. He's so oomphy. He's so oomphy, dude. <laughs> you force yourself to take deep breaths, but breathing harder doesn't make him less of a show off, unfortunately. Alright. You pick up the crumple brochure from the floor. What's this guy's deal? I don't know, but he's funny. He's this is silly. this is not this is I this is Nagito to me. This is this is Nagito to me. <laughs> like how people on Tumblr feel about Nagito. This is that I'm getting that with this. I'm getting that with this guy. Uh, hey, he's, you okay? <laughs> he's so silly. Uh, you start skimming its contents, but honestly, you're a little. No, a lot of stress right now, so it goes in one ear and out the other. I don't think a brochure about rocks and stones is important anyways. Okay, uh... Absolutely not. You're not embarrassing yourself in front of this stranger again. Uh... Look over the diorama again. Yep, it's still not solved. Part of it feels like if you turn your back to it, these guys will move, uh... Little, the little guys will move themselves. During our post-mortem stream, we did in fact draw this character as Nagito. Amazing. Can, can you send me this? If you have access to my DMs, can you send me this? <laughs> Post this somewhere. Post this Nagito. Uh, you turn away for a moment and look back. They haven't moved. Now you just look silly. Way to go, Agnes. Uh, talk to your partner. Find anything? Not yet. Have you? Just this. He hands you a scrap of paper. Looks similar to the one he found earlier. Human observation log one. Science of intelligent life and multiple eligible specimens discovered on Earth. Results inconclusive. More testing is needed. 
This is... You scrunch your face up. Useless. Um, sorry, but yeah. Let me see if I have it. It wasn't an Aggie stream. Gotcha. Well, if you can find it, I would love to see it. Well, I never said it wasn't. Oh, you do. Uh, alright. Oh, that's just the same thing. Oh, no, that's not the same thing. Wait. Wait. Oh, you can scroll back up with your with your mouse wheel to go back some lines. Gotcha. I should probably uh, skip unseen. No, skip. No. no. You should just leave it like that. Yeah, I, I thought one of them was skip seen text, but that was unseen text, so never mind. Find anything? Just the diorama. Eddie Lock? Haven't tried it yet. Why are you here talking to me? I, uh, well, wanted to see if you found anything. He raises an eyebrow. Fine, boom. Is the puzzle that difficult? No, the game just won't let me solve it yet. You feel your face burning and resolutely set your jaw. It's not, I'm just... His brows furrow at that. Relax, go back, read the instruction, and use it for your process of elimination. Take it one step at a time. You look over the diorama again. Yup, it's still not solved. Okay, so I just gotta keep talking to him until it lets me solve it. Turn to face. Just a diorama. Oh. What? Okay, um. I don't know. Is there anything else I can click? Oh, fuck. Monkey. You take a look at the picture next to the window. You squeak. Oh, monkey! Monkey! monkey. <laughs> it's Money the Monkey! Dude, it's fucking Money the Monkey! Let's go! <laughs> You squid at it. It looks like a monkey? The sepia pair makes it look like a Victorian photograph in a museum. There's a kindness in that thing's eyes. You kind of need it right now. Monkey. You rifle through the plants and leaves. You're not sure what you're looking for, but it's gotta be better than nothing. After digging through the dirt, you find a note. Human observation log number two. Species intelligence has been confirmed, capable of advanced problem solving. New proposal, gather select subjects from Earth, present them with various obstacles, and catalog their attempts to surmount them. Would it be cool to DM you those pics? Yeah, I don't know if I have DMs open. Just just try it, just try it, and if not, um, I'll, I'll add you, I'll, I'll fix it and add you, and then, you know. If you, if you don't add each other already. Um, this must be the last note in the series. That's it? Yeah, now you, yeah, now you should be able to do the puzzle. Attempt the puzzle? Yes. Okay. Oh! Get all four characters with all this story. There must be one or two characters on the boat to make the trip across, but be careful. If certain characters are together, they may kill each other. What will you do? Child. Child. And. Gunman. Fuck. Oh, god damn it. Alright, over there? No. He looks over your direction without pausing the pen spinning. Ugh. As you were then. I was sent a DM of the Nagito picture. Awesome! Let's go. Is Agnes to is Agnes Toko? I don't know. I'm just she looking at the him. picture. I'm asking Joe. Oh yeah, that's what that was. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. I, is it okay if I show this on stream? Oh, no. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> is it possible? But is it okay to show this on stream? I get why she's here now. I understand.
uh, another Shizunata. Awesome. Um, let me just, uh... Yeah. Honestly, why not? It was on a stream. Okay, uh... Chat... I'm only gonna just show the Nagito one, if I can get this up. Um, if... Oh, uh... Oh, wow. Uh, Windows files do not want to work. <laughs> it's just consistently loading for me. Um, can I drag and drop into OBS? Is that a possibility? Oh, yes, it I is. Know. Yes, it right. is! Awesome! This is so awesome. I love this. This is so fucking awesome. It's so awesome and it's so cool. It is so awesome. It is so cool. Thank you. Thank you for this. If you have any other images that you feel like you need to, me to see um, over the course of this stream. Uh, yeah. Um. I have other images, but there's spoilers. Gotcha, gotcha. Let me just, uh, I need to move OBS back. Alright. Look over the diagram again. Yep, it's still not solved. Perfect feels like if you turn your back to it, the little guys will move themselves. Okay, so. Solve the riddle. This guy. The okay. cat. The caveman eats the cowboy's gun. He explodes. Oh my god. Fuck. It likes sparky things. A gun sparks. Yep. Okay. Um. Uh, interested in things that spark. Huh. Right. We. Fuck! This uh! And in a good way. We had a 50 50 shot. Yep. Ugh, God damn it! He looks over in your direction ah. without pausing the pen spinning. I'm doing my best. As you would. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. The T-Rex will eat that, I'm just... Fuck! Mm -hmm. The dinosaur will eat the caveman. And the caveman will attack the cowboy. Mm -hmm. fucking god um okay so the dinosaur will eat the, no matter the dinosaur, eat, the dinosaur is eating the caveman and the child <sighs> oh 
You have solved the riddle. Yippee! Yippee! Riddle complete. I was just scared that like if I put the dinosaur on, it's gonna eat him. Click. Whoa! Did I do it? Do what? He slides the pet back into wherever he got it from, walks over to you, and peers at the completed puzzle. Seems all the figuring fit made to the shared destination. As I assumed, you shipped them in a particular order to avoid miniature bloodshed. Yeah, all I did was. He abruptly looks up, all of a sudden uninterested in your hard earned solution, as he begins walking toward the door. Would you look at that? The lock seems different now. Can you just let me finish? This is the river crossing puzzle. A fairly well known logic puzzle with specific constraints and movement on it. You can visualize solution by simply reading and following the instructions. Uh, maybe you could do that, but. You trail off, protest dying on your tongue, and suddenly feeling like you are very small. You never stood in any classroom, and nothing makes you so keenly aware of that as the person staying in front of you right now. He watches you shrink back and fidget, purses his lips, thinks for a second, and then he sighs and pulls out a sheet of paper? Here. Aww. All you see is a brief flash of gold between his fingertips before his hand is right in front of your face. A small cold object is pressed beneath one eye, causing you to jerk your head back and stumble backwards. What? The, what was that for? A gold star for you. Well done. <laughs> Hit him with the motherfucking gold star. I love this dude. You turn your to your reflection of the chain and glimpse a glittery golden star shaped decal on your cheekbone. Unconsciously, you reach up to touch it. Your first instinct is to peel it off and, sh and tell him to show, but when you turn his the skin his face, he's already walking briskly to the door. He stops right in front of you and looks back over his shoulder at you. Well, aren't you quite sick of this room? I certainly am. As curious what the consequences may be for not escaping, I won't stop you. But I can't exactly encourage you in good conscience either. Begrudgingly, you hurry across the car to catch up with him. On one hand, he doesn't try to open the door before he can get there. On the other, he doesn't try to open the door once you've reached him either. He's autistic, it's okay. Does the door not work? He holds the back of his hand out to you, showing off his nails. What was it that you called me? Nails, was it? You were really hoping you'd never have to confront that moment ever again. So you hold on to that hope and pretend you just didn't hear him. Chee, you know fun. Well, in my humble opinion, as you were the one who solved the puzzle, you should have the honor opening the door. Is that so? You touch the star on your cheek, pleasantly surprised to find some fondness hiding beneath the exasperation now that the main source of tension is gone. Nodding once, you grasp at the door handle with both hands before looking back at him with an awkward, giddy smile. Ready? After you. <sighs> right. You steady yourself and slide the door open. Aw, oh, fight fucking jeans. You've arrived at your destination. Oh, it's fucking cow. It's the fucking cow I've been seeing on emotes and itch.io. The door wails um, as you pull its handle with out of the handle with all your might. Its tracks almost entirely rusted over. Light pours in from the other side. You hear voices? Gotcha. The door's opening. Something's coming out. Stay behind me, Ridley. So if she's behind, then, like, does that mean... The room isn't similar size to the, the previous one, maybe a little longer. You pause in your tracks and take a moment to absorb what it's like. 
It's significantly cleaner than room one, with fluorescent lights, yellow poles, and plastic green seats. At the end of the TV, at the end of the room, you can see a TV screen next to the door. A map of the train sits above the divider. Each car is numbered sequentially, with one car circled at the end. You nearly jump out of your skin as another person appears at your side from behind you, but thankfully, it's just um. Nah, you forgot to ask his name. In your defense, you're preoccupied, and also he was kind of rude. You're pretty sure he never asked your name either, so... You, you there, alien. I don't know where you ducked to death for, and I don't care, but take one step further. I'll pull out the old Nevada smash! <laughs> Get scared. Get scared. Scourge of humanity, prepare yourself! Alien, what? <laughs> Roller glasses charge at you. You dive to the side, dodging them completely, and they shoot past into the car. Shoot past you into the car, groaning. Nevada, God, are you alright? The girl wearing overalls run past you to help. Swirly glasses. As she passes the completed diorama, she skids to a hold and leans in to inspect it. Her eyes completely light up as she turns to you. Whoa, did you do some of this? You cough into your fist. You did do all the work, but now that you're faced with the insurmountable task of taking the credit, you glance at your garishly dressed partner to gauge what he thinks. He nods firmly in motions with his hand, ind indicating you to go ahead. You turn back to overalls, touch the star on your face once again, and nod sheepishly at her. I... I did, yeah, that, that was me. She beams at you, positively glowing with excitement. Her smile is almost too bright to look at. You can't help squinting against it, just a little. How was it? How long did it take you? Is this your first time trying a river crossing puzzle? Did you just travel there, or are you one of those folks who would solve it in their head first? She's talking a mile a minute, asking you questions. <laughs> asking you questions faster than you can answer them. Um, uh, well, uh... From the back of the car, you hear swirly glasses groan. Really? A little help here. They prop themselves up on one arm, touching the side of their their head and wincing in pain. She rushes to his side, pulls him up, and carefully dusts him off. He seems dazed, but mostly uninjured. Sorry, one sec. There we go. Okay. Your head, are you? <sighs> sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh dear, I didn't mean to get distracted. He lets her fuss over him for a little while, but once she begins apologizing, he shakes his head gently and grabs her hands. It's all right, dear. I'm fine now. I was the one who, uh... uh... Swirly glasses trails off and notices you hovering awkwardly by room number one's door. They nudge overalls and tip their head towards the door. We should... Oh! Gosh, you're right. Let's all get ourselves into the next room, and then we'll make our introductions. Right, right. She waves over at you and your roommate before guiding her partner out the door with a hand on his arm. <coughs> one by one, you file through the door. The moment last, the last person steps into the room, the door slowly slides shut behind you. You try to open it again, but it's locked tight. Hmm. My power just flickered, so now I'm on the phone while my computer restarts. <coughs> I'm saluting you. No. Your roommate notices your struggle, and it seems to spark some train of thought he doesn't voice out loud. You're too distracted by the three new people you suddenly face with to focus on anything else. Swirly Glasses, still slightly banged up from their earlier incident, is off to the side speaking in hushed tones with overalls, who's still looking anxious. Your room partner has moved to another side and is looking intently at the wall, standing next to the expressionless, intimidatingly fashionable girl. She meets your gaze briefly. You immediately turn your head to look back at the couple standing in the corner. Overall says something you can't hear and pats her partner's arm reassuringly. He nods and the two rejoin the room. Um, I, uh, uh, before anything else, I just want to say sorry for earlier. They rub the back of their neck sheepishly and glance at overalls. She nods at them encouragingly. I've been on these forums recently, you know. I, uh, got a bit excited. Made some assumptions, that is. 
I mean, even if you really are aliens, you obviously trapped it here with us, so it shouldn't have scared you like that. I'm sorry. Did... How long since this dropped has it been since aliens were, were revealed to be true? Um, uh, it was a few days ago that Aliens came out. This came out like, I want to say a week ago? If this and like Maybe. the Aliens news dropped on the same day, that would be so fucking funny. Listen, we all know that the Aliens news is just a distraction from whatever war crime the United States That's is true. doing now. Yo Biden. Biden. My name's Joe Biden, and I, uh, I wanna authorize a, uh, a, uh, oil dispensary that uh, contaminates every single river. Yippee! I'm so glad we voted for a Democrat! <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how to feel about being told you're still considered a potential alien, but he seems earnest, like he really feels bad. You look at the barely visible bruise on their elbows and nod. No harm done, and um, sorry if I scared you. Agreed, and assuming you were also kidnapped, it's only natural to be on edge. Speaking of which, am I right to assume such? If not, how did you three come up to be here? Well, right now I'm thinking alien abduction, obviously. Or a regular abduction, at least. I don't know if you guys got any other ideas. They cock their head towards their partner in fur coat. The latter shrugs soundly while the former nods and speaks up. We just woke up here a few minutes ago, actually. We only just began looking around when you two opened the door. As for where we are and who brought us here, well, unless there's something we haven't found, I'm also thinking aliens. Your roommate raises his eyebrows, but right as he opens his mouth to say something undoubtedly condescending, fur coat pipes up. I don't know, not probing yet. Unless... He shuts his mouth and looks at her, eyebrows still raised. Actually, everyone looks at her. It's an un it's a unanimous thing. Silence stretches before you like an endless plane. She looks back at you, still expressionless. And this is the longest silence you've ever experienced. It's honestly relieving not to be the source of it, for once. Yeah. The spell breaks. You shift them comfortably while overalls collapse once energetically. Right, I believe introductions are in order. Let's move on from that awkward shit. <laughs> Why does she sound like that? That was the voice I laid it when I saw the care when I saw just like the text and then I saw the character and I'm like, fuck it, it's funny to roll both it. My name is Ralsey. I wear a fur coat. These aren't my friends. I'm a bitch. I'm a beanie. I'm a, I'm a, uh... Nate Nevada, the number one connoisseur of all affairs hidden, you know. It's tough they don't want you to know. Oh, Nevada, I get it. Like, Area 52. Yeah. Like, Area 52 yeah. from Looney Tunes Back oh, in Action. Back in Action. Yeah, like, from Looney Tunes Back in Action! Oh, that's right. We should do fun facts. <laughs> Let's go around the room and share and introduce ourselves with one fun fact. You feel your stomach drop. Fun facts, is now really the time for icebreakers? Who does she think this is, middle school? I'm Ridley, and my fun fact is I make and solve puzzles in my free time. Well, with the little free time that I have at least. My second fun fact is I work at a few different jobs, so. Nevada looks like if Soul Bad Guy retired, went to Florida and got, st and, and got really into conspiracy theories. I love that for yeah. him. Do you I know mean, his voice? Hmm? You know his voice claim for like, for, uh, for when they did like the post modern stream, they uh, Randy did like here's here's the here's my head cannon voices for them. Uh, what the was only it? one I really, the only one I really remember is Nevada's because it was Markiplier. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> you remain uh, silent, still racking your brain for a fun fact that isn't. I haven't spoken to anyone in three years, or I secretly read a lot of embarrassing self insert fan fiction or something like something equally conversation right Wow, she is literally me! <laughs> she is literally me! Erica! <laughs> you all wait for Erica to continue, but she doesn't. She just stares back at everyone. You fidget with your shirt. 
If she can get away with it, you can too, right? Right. Right. Hopefully. Is that all, Erica? She nods and really smiles reassuringly before looking back at you and your roommate. You breathe out trying to relax and think of a coherent introduction. Thankfully, right before it gets uncomfortable, your poser partner breaks the silence. My name's Valentino, as for a fun fact. Hmm. You huff a sigh of relief. Thank God you finally got his name. He thinks for a moment, tapping a tube of what looks like lip balm against his chin before putting it directly in front of him. I'm pursuing my masters in astrophysics. I love you, Umfi, my best friend. My best friend Valentino making a master's in astrophysics. Autism astrophysics. This dude rocks. Nevada's face brightens with fervor and curiosity. Whoa, never got to spend much time speaking, you know. Science people, people I, uh... They push up their glasses and cough nervously. <laughs> Since I, uh, dropped out. I mean, I didn't finish middle school, so I really only know what's online. But if, if you could... <laughs> Valentino seems a little taken aback by Nevada's genuine interest, but he nods regardless. If you're willing to listen, I'll be perfectly happy to explain. After we escape this whole situation, of course. Nevada tugs on Ridley's sleeve excitedly and she pats his shoulder, beaming. All too soon, that interaction concludes and everyone turns to you. Um, I'm Agnes. Uh, share a fun fact. And I, uh, your face heats up and your palms start to sweat. Why do you even try? You literally just established that you don't have any fun facts to share. Every fact about you is decidedly unfun. Your heart rate speeds up. You look at your shoes to avoid everyone's expressions. They're probably looking up at you judgmentally or worse, pityingly. Um, sorry. You flinch mid-word and your voice cracks pathetically. God, this is the worst and nobody's saying anything. They're probably all making pointed eye contact now that you're not watching them and... You watch anime? Your head snaps up involuntarily and you raise yourself for expression, which is... Still blank. Did you imagine that? Huh? I watch anime. Do you, like, watch anime, that is? Is she trying to help you? You open your mouth hesitantly to say something back, but before you can think... You're interrupted by a screech of feedback and static. Everyone claps their hands over their ears. You look around frantically for the source of the noise. So I think Erica loves Show by Rock. Um, that 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 that's just the head cannon. The screen suddenly flickers and changes to a white screen. The sound stops. Everyone in Nevada removes their hands from their ears. A humanoid figure with a bloodstained apron and cow-shaped gas mask appears on screen, with. A cow puppet on one hand and black lover, rubber glove on the other. Ah, testing, testing. Oh dear, oh dear, is this thing on? The puppet is talking? Its mouth moves open and shut, so it's supposed to be talking. Therefore, the puppet is talking. The puppet talks. Right. Its voice is sweet and high-pitched. It's... Okay, it's kind of cute. You can't deny it. Oh, thank goodness. It is. <laughs> welcome. Welcome, dear cattle, to our humble experiment. I love this voice that you've given. And I love it, like, started out as Monokuma, and then it, now it's just, like, now it's like a Muppet, and I love it. <laughs> he is not evil, and he is full of whimsy. It struck you and these people in the train, though. Oh, I'm just so happy you're all here. Why, it brings a tear to my little glass eye. <laughs> this is literally just Muppet-esque and I love it. Like, I, I don't know why your voice just feels Muppet-esque. It's perfect. Cattle. Oh, no. uh, you have to consider all the little things that go into making a show like this, you know? Like, Miss Piggy always gets in my case about this whole thing, but somebody has to watch the finances, you know? <laughs> it's, uh, it's a tough job. It's a tough job. Oh, it's a tough job. Oh, cattle, spearman. Your mind flashes back to the note sitting in your pocket from the previous room. Oh, oh 
dear, how rude of me, how embarrassing. <laughs> I forgot to introduce myself. I am the one and only Dairy Fairy. That's me. <laughs> Oomphy. Dairy Fairy, like, Beep. puppets when. <laughs> This is my best friend, the butcher. Hehe, <laughs> yay! <laughs> His little arms wiggle for a moment while the room remains silent. I love you, Dairy Fairy. Ellipses. This is like Jigsaw if he had wanted to have fun. Like yeah, imagine if like imagine if Jigsaw like literally like like, I mean, he puppets around big, but what if he didn't use, like, his voice and was just like, Hey, I want to play a game! Uh, there are two tubes stuck to your eyes! You need to break your fingers in order to get, in order to get, now you get your eyes stuck on the tubes! Yippee! Oh my god! A deadly neurotoxin is about to seep into the room! Oh, <laughs> Oh, hee <laughs> hee! Please clap! Billy the Puppet is fun, but it's- but it's like if John Kramer wanted to have fun with what he was doing and not. <laughs> yeah. You hear tentative clapping behind you that peters out awkwardly. Glancing- glancing around the room, you hear- you see everyone focus on the screen, sporting serious expressions. Hastily, you shift your own gaze back. What do you want from us? What are you? Quiet. I am the butcher. I have brought you humans here for the purpose of conducting an experiment. Aha! I knew it! Nevada removes their hands from their ears to pump their fist in victory. Alien abduction! <laughs> <laughs> Won't you please listen to us, please? We will open for your questionings and give her answerings after the instruction ends. I can just hear, like I'm hearing you say this. I'm also you hearing you like, Andy. no, I'm I'm hearing city. I'm hearing city. <laughs> yeah, okay. Would you please listen to us, please? We won't open your questioning. <laughs> That's just city to me. Dairy guy, Dairy Fairy is just a little guy. He was just born. Oh, poor thing. There's a loud ding dong, and a door ahead of you slides open. <clears throat> I have prepared several tests, of which several of you have already encountered. Guess. The, the puzzle the puzzles right yeah yes puzzles oh. <laughs> the dairy fairy claps his little arms hooves together and nods eagerly at Nevada his arms can't really reach the other because they are so short and he is so small <laughs> oh <laughs> he is so short and he is so small he looks like one of those monkeys of symbols we worked really, really hard on them, so please. Nevada ignores them, steps forward, and turns to Redley. Sorry to interrupt, little guy, but I gotta figure out what's going on over there. Ridley, fill me in later. At this, Erica also steps forward. Filling sounds fun. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. What? Yeah, the character. What? Yeah. That's the character. <laughs> Hey Lucy, hey Lucy, have you ever heard of uh, the, this uh, common trope in uh, escape games and um, of the horny character? <laughs> That's her? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's know, so Lucy. fucking funny. <laughs> Not only it's this character, but I gave her this voice. <laughs> it's excellent. It's excellent. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> she walks out the door before anyone can process that Nevada snorts and follows behind her. Uh, 
it. Please. <laughs> They're literally just like, girl, the fuck? Ellipses. Anyone else? Can I continue? You shift uncertainly, unsure if you want to stay or follow the other two in the other room. But before you can decide, the butcher- the but The butcher begins speaking again. As I was saying, I have prepared some tests. To be more precise, these rooms contain various puzzles. Fun fact, her name internally is just horny because we started writing code before the names were finalized. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> That is so fucking funny. I'm- that's so funny. You will only be able to move forward once you have successfully completed each puzzle. Every experiment has a hypothesis. What is the point of your research? Which puzzles? How many? And how many rooms? You're being awfully vague right now. Hmm. I wonder how- I wonder if there's nine puzzles, nine persons, nine rooms. I don't know, actually. I don't know. Nine trains. Nine trains. You want to hiss them to be quiet. They already said they'd answer questions at the end. Oh, can't we tell them? Please. <laughs> I love this little thing. Lipsies. If there are dairy fairy pu puppets or like plushies ever made, I need to buy one. Yeah. The full scope of this experiment will be revealed to you upon completion. That's not a real answer. What the hell do you mean, completion? The words tumble out of your mouth before you can stop them. You clap your hands over your mouth and mumble an apology. Now you really can't complain about interrupting. Agnes brings a valid point. Define the param parameters to me. What must we do to succeed? What happens if we do? And what happens if we fail? Ellipses. You have a limited amount of oxygen. Your goal is to reach the front of the train. Failure will result in death. Okay. Whoa! Your eyes widen. Valentine's expression tightens minutely. Ridley sucks in a breath. Death? That is all. Good luck. And remember to have fun! I love you! <laughs> bye! 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 <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> oh, I love the Dairy Fairy so much. <laughs> the screen turns off. Authorized on. little thing. Have fun! I love you! All three of you sit in a tense silence for a few seconds. You almost hear Valentino and Ridley's brains worrying. Are we just gonna go along with all of that? Do you think they were serious about like... I have my doubts. His expression is grim. Without real evidence backing my suspicions, I forced to take the words at face value. Both the promises and the threats. Yeah, I don't like it either, but we can't risk it. I love her, um, her, like, puzzle piece overalls and, like, her crop top. Yeah. It's very good. So oh. love her hair, it's so pretty. Very well done. You hit the idea of trusting any word coming from that thing, <laughs> but you can't uh, argue with their logic. Uh, plus, knowing they both feel the same way makes you feel a little better about the whole situation. Yeah. Ugh. Let's keep moving, glasses. I'll see you in a Valentina walks decisively forward, ducks through the door, and disappears. Right. Let's get going. Ridley also walks to the, up to the door, then pauses and turns back to look at you. Agnes? Are you alright? You startle and nod, hastily making your way over as she waits in the doorway patiently. As soon as you step through, the door slides shut behind you once again. 
suddenly the temperature drops significantly. You shiver and hug your torso as a wave of sheer cold washes over you. Your breath fogs out as you exhale and your glasses slowly begin to fog up. After you've wiped the, off the fog on your glasses, you put them back on and look around. Yo! Check it Here out. I am. There I am, Gary. Oh my god! I, I see... <laughs> where? Lucy, Lucy, I disagree. Where do, who do you think I am in this picture? I, that's you, I assume. There I am. I thought that I thought you were talking about Acha. Um, there's Rivers Goo. Is that Mar? Yes. And there's Blue. Like there's yeah, blue. I'm not. I'm not in this. Don't worry. And I'm there's not, a burger. You weren't able to afford my appearance. <laughs> no, you're the, you're the door lock. You're the square at the lock. They change your color. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. I'm yeah. this fucking thing up here. They put me in the game. <laughs> the no, this so thing. True. This thing. Oh, that is a face. Whatever that is. After you've wiped the fog off your glasses, you put them back on and look around. Um, it takes a few seconds, uh, your eyes a few seconds to adjust to the very blue room. Advertises play on the screen scattered across the room and one in particular catches your eye. Homo sapien teeth impurity paste kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Before you can register literally anything else in this room, you're suddenly plagued by an incredible pressing thought that has been spawned directly into your brain. You can't remember if you got if you got to brush your teeth before coming here. Your heart drops and a pit of cold, ugly pain forms rapidly in your stomach. The level of panic you're feeling is somehow worse than before when you were told of your imminent doom. God, I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> oh god. It's just your luck. The thing is. This is the situation. Here you are, trapped on a train with a group of cool people, and you're just... You're you, with glasses that fog up and maybe unbrushed teeth. If you die here, you'll die wearing your usual drab, baggy clothes. Your corpse will rot teeth first. Aliens will find your body in a thousand years and put it on display as an example of humanity's most miserable failure. This suddenly reinvigorates your desire to get the hell out of here, and also your desire to never open your mouth again. Standing around won't solve you any puzzles. You pry your eyes from the toothpaste and press your lips together tightly. Seeing the others have walked past you and begun inve inve investigating the room instead of noticing your teeth situation. Oh, the soul from soul! You don't even want to think about what freakish things this, that butcher person is doing with the hacksaw. It looks clean, at least, which is good. Nobody's gonna kill you with it, you hope. Now what the hell is this? You look at the little wicked the beasts this? floating inside these tubes. Maybe they're aliens collected by the butcher during their space experience. <laughs> the little wicked beasts of Markatoto and Rivers Goo. If you had to guess, the little one is about three apples high, and the big one is... Also, at least three apples high. <laughs> and how tall is the unseen other creature? Six grapes. I was just about to say! I, I can't remember if it was four or six grapes. <laughs> uh, you're faced with a dangly pair of buttons. Maybe if you press one of them, the car will start moving like an elevator? Going up, Do please! Back. I don't think don't. Hmm? Be right back, I gotta feed my dogs. Oh, okay. Uh, you press the top button. You wait patiently. You wait some more. You're not moving. Unfortunate. Look at this guy! A rural soldier in a metropolis man's world. He's holding something in his, um, hand? It's either a very stiff lasso or a ring. You figure it's the latter. Either way, he's not gonna let it go easily. You'd go over and really look him over, but Ridley's doing a great job of that already. Fine then, this cute little cowboy hat itself can wait. Yeehaw! Yeehaw. It's a vending machine. All the stress of the situation has made you kind of hungry, honestly. You fiddle in your bag for some change, but... Ah, right, you don't carry cash. There's a toolbox and tools scattered on the floor. You've broken your fair share of... everything. So you know your way around a Philip and a flathead. Anything that requires a delicate hand, however, can be fixed by someone else.
It's the car's back door. On, a, on it is a puzzle, which seems to be linked to the lock in some way. It looks like a bunch of concentric circles. Is one missing? Done. Everyone else is congregated between a triad of goo tubes on one side and a small cow pattern robot on the other. Both sit atop plastic red seats, one of which has its arms ripped off, the other clenching an object tightly in its fist. Vending machine sits next to the robot. A box filled with paper is on its other side. Some strange circular devices directly affixed onto the floor at the end of the room right beside the lock. The contents of the toolbox lay scattered across the floor, and sharp-looking silver hooks dangle from the ceiling. Terrifyingly, Valentino and Nevada are idly batting the hooks back and forth while Ridley inspects the robot. Just imagine them playing tetherball with, with with the hooks just, like, slapping it back and forth, make sure, like, oh, don't, don't get caught. Considering the horror of smart people over there, you feel like you should just sit back and let them figure it out. No way in hell you'll be able to make this much sense of it. There is one thing you can check, though. Though, however, you slip past everyone and try the door a few times, it may seem. Oh, by the way, you might want to save soonish. Um, I'm just gonna save now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a. There may be a weird glitch with not the next puzzle, but the puzzle after. Gotcha. Which, nope. Which is fixed by just, like, closing and reloading. Not. Nope, locked again. Wasn't even worth the shot, honestly. You feel kind of embarrassed for trying. It's so dumb. <laughs> Oh! Uh, 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 Lucy, I cannot. I can't, some, half of the time, I don't hear you say your lines. Uh, <laughs> you nearly jump out of your skin and spin around quickly. You didn't even notice she was standing there. What? Yeah. Huh? The door. It's um. It's really tight. You know, like. He gestures very vaguely and nods like she's satisfied. You're... Well... To be honest, this is, entire, this is entirely unfathomable for your feeble and stress and on mind, so you just stare at her. I mean... Yeah? Like a ripple in still water, a smile flits across at Erica's placid face. Seems like that was the correct answer? You're saved from having to attempt to reciprocate whatever that interaction was when Valentino calls you over. You turn to face him with relief. Now I want to take a look at this, Agnes. Really straightens up and waves you over energetically. You took care of the last puzzle. Uh, you took care of that last puzzle, right? There's some really neat parts to this one. Welcome back from cat feeding. Um, Erica said a line that I genuinely could not no, finish because saying it in saying it in the voice made me fucking break and I just couldn't finish the line. <laughs> uh, once you get back there, you both crouch down and examine the bovine robot. It stares back at you with bl its blank white eyes. So basically, this robot told us that it needed some repairs, maybe to its new arm. Something about a power issue. Oh, skill Your head tilts to the side. What? It... Uh... Told you? Yeah, it did say something like that. However... It could also be a death trap that take us out all at once once it gets its functions back. You never know. Valentino snorts where he, where he sat next to the robot, legs crisscrossed and head resting against one hand. With his other hand, he rhythmically taps his silver pen against a bony knee. The puzzle here was meant to kill us, and why would they make them solvable? Well, hmm. You got a point. Um, how exactly did it tell you? Valentino swiftly reaches with his pen to press a button on the robot's front panel, causing it to whirr to life. A heavily digitized voice that echoes through the room. Very keen, I am Mobile Organization Officer Unit Number 0999. Nine, nine. Reference to the game series 999. Nine, nine. No way, what's that? Before, uh, you, cool too. before you stop, or, right. stop yourself, you snicker under your breath. <laughs> Moo. Nobody else seems amused by this. 
Primary objective, complete the assembly of subway car design number 413. Oh, fuck off. Fuck you. <laughs> objective completion, 99%. Objective cannot be completed until repairs are made to this unit. Diagnostics have confirmed the issue is related to power routing. The wording slows to a stop as the message ends and the robot powers off. So, are you asking me to solve this? With, with help from me and Ridley, of course, are you not up for the challenge? Considering you need to replace your earbuds every few weeks, the idea of messing with delicate machinery is more than a little unnerving. Still, you can't help rising to the bait. Fine, just if this thing blows up, don't say I didn't warn you. Valentino smiles wryly while, Rid while Ridley cheers. We'll be right by your side if you need anything. If it blows up, I'm going down with you. Alright, something breaks. You won't be the only one getting blamed, at least. You spin it around, find the hatch, and pull it open. Nevada hands you a few tools they picked up from the ground and you get to work. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, I got stuck on this puzzle. It's a fun little puzzle. But it took, it, took me, it took me a while. Stove the wires, Lucy. I love these types of puzzles. This is a little... Actually, I'm not gonna say anything. No, you need to go through the circles. Ah! The longer you look at the lighthouse, the more you feel a headache developing. You know, I can do it if you need me to. No, I've got it. I've got it. Oh, do I need to go through all the circles? Uh, read the instructions on the right side. Sorry, I just got- I was like, oh, connect wires, easy. Rotate the wire, wire tiles and complete the circuit and connect the red tuner volt terminal with the blue one. Uh, some wires connected by dots, which get the total of the energy of the circuit to 100 volts. Okay. Yeah. Every time you go through a dot, it lowers it by 10. So you go through 10 dots. Oh, they also don't tell Two, you this, three. but you can also you can also you can also rotate the red and blue things. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to see how many like dot there. Are. One, two, five, seven, eight, ten, thirteen. There's fourteen. Okay. There's more than you need, but yeah. there is the root. It's a root. We're back. I have to uh, make sure that the dogs uh, are, you know, not exploding. Intense wire focus. Okay, fuck. You needed four more. Yep.
160. So I need three, four more. Yeah. Okay. Can, it, can you at least tell me, like, which direction the red and the blue are supposed to go? To, I don't want to know, like, how to do but, like, if which direction the red and blue are supposed to go for the puzzle. Uh, the way I did it, and I don't know if there's multiple solutions or not, uh, the red is facing down and the blue is facing left. Okay. That is... I, I, when, I, when I was playing through it again, because there, there was an update, I, yeah. I took a picture. I took a picture of the solution to save. All right. Hi, OGBT. Hi, Randy. Hi, Randy. I wonder... What? Is President Beefer? Whoa. Whoa. Hi, I'm currently trying to figure out this fucking thing. I How you liking my Beefer? I'm, I'm loving it. I'm having a great time with it. I love the characters. I accidentally gave the horny one the Rousey voice. Um, so now that's uh, a thing. She's been on this for around. Oh, oh maybe uh, like three, like eight, four minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes at this point. I thought I had it like a me. Okay, I'll be back in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Project Beefer, good. This was my worst puzzle. Not because it was bad, it's because I it took me forever to figure it out. Lucy, what do you think? What do you think of the character and Project Beaver so far? I like them. Which one's your favorite? Uh, Val probably Valentino. Solid. Solid choice. That's right. That's right. I fucking love Valentino. He is so funny to me. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> oh, can't do that though. to me a lot.
When you got back from like cunt serving convention? Hell yeah. How how was nice. how was serving cunt? <laughs> Ten fucking hell. Nice. Do you like your cunt served hot or cold? Um. I don't think I'm gonna answer that question. Okay. I like it served. <laughs> Gotta go. Okay. Um. Fuck. Puzzle. Dude, I I thought when Miku Pikra said I cleared all puzzle that that was it. <laughs> no. There will, there will always be more puzzles. Puzzle. Fucking hell, I'm... Wait, this is a Barbie Ooh. movie? Ooh, have you... Was that your first time seeing it? Barbie. That first showing, first viewing, or second? Or more? Yes? Hell yeah. Uh, I almost cried. I was so close to crying. Um... Every single person I know who saw it cried. Like, my coworker went and he cried at it. Hey, Billy. Hi. <laughs> Can I have a hint? Um, let's see. The from my the way I did it, you are around fifty percent right. Well, no, it's 15 or close. 50? Fifth, uh, it's a bit more than 50 now that I'm looking at it. You're about... I want to say 70% right? Um, what's... Like an area that I should look at and be like... Uh, near the end. Near the end, okay. I feel like I'm getting cold. I feel like I'm yeah, I feel like I'm getting colder. Yeah. Oh, near, not, near, not the end, but near the end. Near the end. Like, near the end by, like, here or, like, here? Uh... Like, a little bit lower from what you first you first circled. Little, like, here? Yeah, so ra around here. Okay. But a little bit more left. A little bit more left. A little bit more left. Bad. I, I, I don't feel bad for being this, this puzzle hardest. Um, because the thing that I'm trying to be is like, what can be, what can be moved? Well, not to say like what can be moved, but more like. What pieces can be moved that gets another one in there? That's not that. Shut up. Hey, <laughs> the puzzle. Wait, you got you did okay. You didn't connect it to the blue wire yet. You gotta Lucy. Lucy, I'm gonna give you the image I have saved. I it it, it was connected to the blue wire though. Right? No no it, was, it went it went to the left side of the blue wire and the blue wire wasn't rotated. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go I'm gonna get some dinner. I'll be right back. <sighs> uh.
I need to enough. I need to get fair food. Enough. I'll come back to this. Uh, okay, I'm gonna post the image uh, then spoil it so you can quickly speed through it again. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get dinner. <laughs> Bye, Lucy. Acha, who's your favorite character in the game? Oof. Um. um, um. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh. Huh. I don't know. I'm very fond of all of them, really. Mm. That's fair. I would like to hang out with Valentino. What would you do? Oh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? What do you expect <laughs> to say? What, what? What? What do you want me to say? I don't know. Get a manicure. Get a pedicure. Have a spa day. Oh yeah, sure. We can do that after. <laughs> <laughs> Stares at me. Yeah, you're staring at me. Motherfucker, you're the one who made Nevada. <laughs> ah, Nevada. Yeah, you stare. It stares at you. Yeah, I'm staring at you as well. Hmm? I'm staring at Nevada's. But sweet. I didn't design it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. His sweet, sweet open shirt. Listening to his lectures. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> how did it feel to be the best character designer of all time with Nevada? Yeah. Nevada is big tit glasses, man. Yeah. Man, guy, them. Sorry, girl, I mean them. Shout out to Kuma. Big brain Kuma. Man. What? There is nothing to be said. <laughs> it's so I fucked up that I got dead. the entire puzzle right and then just done. Out <laughs> in the space on the planet of the base. Something, something, <laughs> never cry. A woman is my favorite guy. I fucking love Ruben the woman. Oh, my favorite guy. I love that line so I much. I love it. Ah, uh, DJ Crazy Times, you are my hero. I have hot dogs with barbecue sauce. Nice. Oh my god, a full song is going to be released on August twenty-two. Hold on, hold on. No. Oh baby, let's fucking go. Planet of the Base, featuring DJ Crazy Times and Miss Billy Bijana Electronica. It's a full fucking song that's coming. Oh, I think this is so swag. Puzzle complete! Let's fucking go. I recommend to save again. Save. Your game. One save file, uh, we die like, um, pussy. <laughs> Okay.
Sure. Whoa! Yeah. Hey, who's the big guy? That's Nevada. That's Nevada. That's Big Tip Nevada. Whoa! It took quite some time and a bit of elbow. Uh, can you kiss him? I probably. I don't know. It's not confirmed whether or not. Uh, it's never really confirmed whether them and uh, R uh, Ridley are in like an open relationship or if it's like mm -hmm. a close thing or. You gotta ask first. You gotta ask. They have our girlfriends that you have to shift. Confirmed by devs. Uh, also, uh, also, Lucy, you missed it because when you were getting lunch, uh, Nevada is he they? No, I assume they and Brown. I don't know the he they, they're awesome. Yeah. So swag. I must add, I do want to ask, um... Valentino. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, there are two possibilities, and one in particular is very funny. Um, but that's kind of a spoiler, so I'm not gonna talk about it. Anymore. Yeah, yeah. Head cutting, if Valentino, you can interpret Valentino as sis, which is very fucking funny. Cool, that's not what I was asking about Valentino, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, mm, uh. Hey, Valentino? I'm not the one who... Uh, That's not what I'm asking! <laughs> Valentino! So, by then. I'm not asking- so I'm not asking about sexuality. Not so bad. Given a makeover, you won't be- Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! There you go, there you go. You could have just asked me to voice him, but no, no. Was- No, is uh, Billy here, or Billy leave? Did Billy leave? Billy- uh, Billy is just brb -ing. That's the problem! I don't have Discord, so it's like a, I don't have Discord open, so I couldn't see that. Do you- uh, Lucy, do you have, like, your phone? You can, like- My check phone on is phone. charging! I was at work all day! Okay. Yeah. Um, I I don't wear makeup. Ellipses. Uh, well, that's simply one do. Concealer is a requirement for a position. Girl, why do you have glasses on? <laughs> what? Um, Valentino called me glasses, glasses earlier, and so I have glasses now. You just stare at him. He looks back at you. You stare at him some more. He keeps looking at you. You start sweating. Ahem. Well, good job, Agnes. Why don't you wake the moon bot up and see what else we've got left in this yeah. room? Not only did I put glasses on, I spent five minutes streaming paint.net to turn these picture of glasses into a fucking PNG. Um, to give them and give them transparent lenses. And then fit them on me. I spent like five minutes doing that at the beginning of the stream. You nod awkwardly and press the button on the robot. A pleasant digitized moo rings out, and you can't help but grin with some pride. Greetings, I am Mobile Organization Officer Unit Number 0999. This unit has received the necessary repairs and will proceed with its current primary objective. Ninja gently revs up and gears unlock. The moo bot proceeds to hop up the seats, lands on the aisle, and turns around to roll up the door past Erica. She seems to have just been standing there, staring at the door the whole time. You decide not to think about it. Everyone shoves a bit closer to the door, including you. The move bot extends its because of you now functional arm and reveals that it's a ring clamped within its fingers. Sure, its fingers. The few visible shapes etched in the ring seem to match those of the concentric rings hanging by the door's lock. It slides its rain into the missing spot and spins them with its fingers. You're having a hard time thinking of them as fingers. The graphics are really ruining your immersion. I almost just, I almost just spoiled something. And I, I, I can't, I can't spoil it. I can't spoil it. I can't, I can't spoil it. I wonder. Wow. Wow. Reminds me of some anime. Aww. 
What do you mean? What do you mean by that? She nods and smiles serenely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm Rousey. Listen, this when I saw like the question marks, that was just the voice I went with. And I it was when I realized what the character was. It was funny. No regrets. And then when I realized no who the what the character's personality was, it was even funnier to me. I couldn't not do it. You, yeah. You don't touch that one with a ten foot pole. Primary objective completed. This unit currently has no objective. It will now proceed to deactivate. Thank you all for your cooperation. It wheels back to its scene, hops back onto it with surprising grace. With another moo, it gives everyone a. Uh, is that a thumbs up? How? Now that you think about it, do cows even have fingers? Then it powers down. Do cows even have fingers? Sorry? Never mind. Um, anyway. Look at Valentino and Jester weakly at the door. He nods, really beams at him and beams at you and claps. Good job, team. Ah, and look. She runs up right next to the door, crouches down, and points at the rings. Our next puzzle, a geometric rotating dial. She's grinning from ear to ear. You walk up next to her as naturally as you can and peer at the concentric rings. I remember my first time trying this one out. Agnes, have you tried this one before? You jump before you can help it. You weren't expecting to be noticed or addressed. <laughs> um, sorry, no, I need to try that again. <laughs> uh, sorry, I mean... No, I... I don't think so. She claps her hands again, this time decisively. Oh, that's so exciting! Okay, it's settled. I'll give everyone entertained, so you take your time. Go on and give it a shot. I'll be right here, cheering you on. Just make sure you have fun. I'm... Uh, are you... You glance at everyone else. Valentina Vadar sat by the vending machine again, seemingly engaged in intense debate. Erica has wandered over to the unattended Moobot, lifted up his hats, and began poking around inside. You look back at Ridley, who looks at you expectantly. Unless you're not up for it. I... I think I got this. Right? Right. She beams at you, and you hesitantly smile back at her before focusing your attention on the puzzle in front of you. Okay. Whew! You got this. Rotate each of the four inner rings so that all the... All the symbols well, the line symbols up. Have to match up. But watch out. Um. Uh, be careful. We're team one ring. We'll, we'll rotate the other rings along with it. Click the buttons. Oh, fuck! You can go even innerer. I can? Yeah. Oh my god. And you can go innerer as well. I'm back, hello. Hi, welcome back. Hi. Um... Have you ever played the hit game, uh, Honkai Star Rail? No. <laughs> There's a no, puzzle in it that is like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, I'm playing Engine 2. I was giving the devs a hard time because of it. You should. I believe Honkai Star Rail stole from hit, hit video game Project Beefer. Yeah. It's honestly, like, kind of disgusting how big publishers will take advantage of the smaller uh, indie developers. Okay. I'm just gonna reset. I'm just gonna reset. Fuck. Um... Okay, so I just gotta figure out how these all go. I should what? Oh, is that, or is that to Atra? Okay. Okay, so rotating that clockwise. That rotates everything 
these two clockwise, this one stays the same. That goes left. clockwise. And anti-clockwise. All right. Select entering. That clockwise encounter. Okay. Inner, inner. Everything moves the same. Okay. So mm -hmm. select entering in that. You're fucking me. And then uh, outer rain that. Oh, that's fuck off, bro. Fuck. <laughs> I like to think I'm good at puzzles, and then puzzles happen. I'm just like, I must. Wait a second. No, fuck, fight. I... You got this. Fuck, now how do I... No, I gotta... Remember that there are other options. Yep. Fucking hell. <gasps> oh, yeah. I forgot about that. There you go, you did it! We did a Reddit. I'm so good at puzzles, actually. I'm so, actually so good at puzzles. As you fiddle with the, what is, what is it? Geometric rotating dial, you can't help but notice really watching watching you intently with bated breath. Despite her promise to keep everyone distracted, she's fully focused on your actions. One hand over her mouth, wincing over near misses and rejoicing over each step closer before you even register them yourself. Damn, Ridley's a backseat gamer? Come on. <laughs> Ridley's <Incorrect>. the <laughs> She never tried to interrupt you. True. Uh. Uh, the second the final ring slides in place, any click or whir it makes is drowned up by the whoop of her success. Ooh, that was so good. Wow, Agnes, are you sure this is your first oh. time trying this puzzle? At this, Nevada and Valent Valentino uh, look up. Argument momentarily forgotten. Hmm, you bring up a good point, babe. I can say so you're not secret puzzle genius like my girlfriend over here. Oh, they're talking about Ag Yeah, Ridley. I'm talking about Ridley. I was like Valentine came with the and like I was like I was confused for a second. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'll, I'll screen I'll screen it being viciously viciously making out. <laughs> that was the yeah. argument. Oh, I oh, missed this line entirely. <laughs> okay, so they are dating. Got it. You mentally note that down while Ridley flaps an embarrassed hand at her partner. There are a few lines that you've never read. Awesome. Excellent word, Agnes. Ag Agnes. Full marks. You really are. Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> read it. <laughs> Read it! <laughs> Stay the line! <laughs> Can you stop laughing? <laughs> Read the line! I need to stop Read. laughing! <laughs> I can't! I can't! Oh, hold on, hold on, I got this. Read the line! I got it! <laughs> Give me a second to catch my breath. Really, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. 
good. I'm good. Mm-hmm. <sighs> what did you process all of that? You looked at her rubbed the back of your head awkwardly. You're really not used to... You're really not used to how enthusiastic everyone's being about handing out your compliments. Uh, um, thanks? <laughs> clip this, please. I'm on mobile. I'm streaming. I can't clip it. You run up there by the door sliding open. Uh, I don't know how to clip things. I'll be real with you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ridley is too distracted clipping the Twitch pod that she cannot read the line. Hold on, hold on. I'm making a clip. I'm making a clip. Read the line. Oh, come on. I just got an important DM from Fishy Artist that says, also this image exists too, and now I need to, uh, um, once <coughs> again, go into OBS, uh, window capture, and, uh, ba-bam. 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 This is so aw- this is so awesome. I'm thinking of the killer. Yeah. The killer? The killer. Um, I keep reading Fishy's name and keep thinking about the- Hold on, I, I need- Hold on. I keep thinking about the killer. The killer. <laughs> hold on, I need, I need to mute the game and go to the killer. The killer. <laughs> okay, hold on. I, I, I've almost got the clip at perfect, sir. Uh... <laughs> oh, that's not fucking picking up. It's not picking up the audio. Fuck. I'm trying to play the killer on stream. The killer? I can I can hear it on stream. You can? Yeah. But I'm not like in this. The one. killer. Oh, it is. <laughs> Alright, I, I got it. Turn up. Looks like you've done it again, Agnes. Alright, yeah. after you? No, Halloween's not my favorite. Watching the killer now. Uh, Watching the killer. Feel as that's a free pass for the, the killer. killer. Don't Absolutely. let the killer get you! Like Halloween. I like Ridley. I for ghouls She's got a lot of, like, um, in disguise, I don't know, primary Let teacher the energy. The ends where the killer can come and yeah. Just finish off. She's got that vibe, like, uh, the what's the word no, that I'm looking for? She's got that vibe, like, uh, Blue's Clues host. You know? Should we pick Agnes? Let's check this out. I need your help to figure out what's true. I've been aware of the killer since birth. <laughs> okay, hold on. Where do I post uh, the clip? You can post in the chat. And now we live in North Jersey. Where? But you're in the house. Well, the killer. You know, I've killer. a lot of things, including the killer. You never know who you can meet online. The killer. He's Check the out killer. that clip anyway. He's the killer. The killer is everywhere. He sounds like he's the killer. The killer is on the loose. The killer. I. I'm sure Wendy Williams is a fucking piece of shit. I can never stop thinking about the killer. It's so fucking funny to me. Just the way she talks about but just just the killer. <laughs> Matter of factly, the killer. The killer. Anyway, I uh, Anyways, yeah, you, you read the line. Clip? Well I'm streaming. Yeah. No. You, you look at the clip on you. you look at Ridley, then at everyone else, then back at Ridley. She steps back and motions at the door. Seeing as nobody objects, you hesitantly step into the other room. You're arrested. And your next destination. Development game. Yeah, like Jason Bateman and the killer. <laughs> the killer being Jeffrey Tambor. Hmm. By I don't by know the. Uh, the can fucking we... dad in Arrested Development. Um, anyways, um... Huh. Can I... I can't legally say what I want to say on stream, actually. 
Um, you walk in, rubbing the exhaustion out of your eyes before putting the glasses back on. God, once this is all over, you're definitely going to go lie face down in bed for 24 hours straight. Well, if you're being honest, the idea of going back home kind of feels like wishful thinking at this point. You really don't trust anything the killer has set, has said so far. Mm. But the idea of death by suffocation still hovers over your thoughts like a storm cloud. The killer. <laughs> the uh, guy who says the baby voice. The killer. You let out a deep sigh, internally, of course, so nobody thinks you're acting weird. Being forced to say all this out loud would truly be your boiling point. Before you can dwell on this for too long, you feel the others squeeze past you, then suddenly stop. Well, well then, this is quite the development. Oh, oh ho. So, Nevada, have you heard anything that, uh... She lets out a strange chuckle. Valentino echoes with a scoff of disbelief. You know, explains what we're seeing. All that sounds strange. You decide you should at least pretend to gather yourself, just enough to figure out what's going on. You drop your hands from your eyes and readjust your glasses. What you see, you don't even need to act shocked. Train. This, isn't this the same car we first met in? What the hell? Your eyes dart around the room, trying to match its key features with those from your memory. You really wish you were paying more attention back then. Probably just the same layout. Perfectly recreating a single puzzleless room? What would the point be? What's the benefit? Nevada suddenly laughs, half incredulous and half victorious. <laughs> Everyone turns to look at them. Of all po the possibilities, now the simulation starts breaking. Now it's Valentino's turn to laugh incredulously. <laughs> that's the only reason you could. That's the only reason you could think of. Acha. The killer got them. Oh god. Uh, let's all just. Come on. Before we just jump to conclusions, why don't we take a closer look around? Hey gang, let's look for treasure. <laughs> well, even with, with, without a close inspection, it's reasonable to assume it's part of the butcher's experiment, so to speak. Still, it's better to check and find nothing than to miss something, you know? She's still smiling, but it's so strange it looks more like a grimace. I wonder if she even realizes how stressed she looks right now. Hmm. Fair enough, I suppose. He nods and moves decisively towards the opposite end of the room, head toted back. Looks like he's interested in the map on the divider. Okay, there's gotta be a reason why we're back here. Come on, hon, I could use your insight on this. Oh, of course. Nevada takes Ridley's hand, glancing back at Valentino as she pulls him to the side. You can hear them checking on each other before suddenly... So, you do anything cool. Aw. You stare at her before you even realize it. It's like 10 seconds of prolonged eye contact. You want to look away, but it's simply too late. You must make peace of your decisions. Well, well, well. If it isn't Kuma underscore to Kuma. She stares back at you. Seriously, is she even blinking? Can humans even remain this perfectly still for so long? Also, how is her skin so clear? Oh god, what does your skin look like now? You're now certain she isn't blinking. Maybe she's like those chameleons who blink by using their tongues to lick their eyes. Your own eyes water in sympathy. Seconds stretch into hours and then days. You've been in this room for a hundred years and nobody's blinking. You think you might have discovered a se secret tenth layer of eye contact. Hell, someone should tell Dante from this. Like from AI the Somnium Files? Just like AI the Somnium Files. It's like AI the Somnium Files. Dan Dante, Dante, Kentucky. Just like Dante from Limbo's company. Dante. Just like, Dante just from, 
Demons may cry. Just like Santa Claus from nine 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 nine. Yeah. Uh, just like yeah. um. Uh, Dante Diamond Minecart. <laughs> just like Dante from Inferno. Oh, that's a bit. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, so sorry, what? Okay. You do your best to collect yourself. <laughs> Thankfully, everyone has been too busy to witness any of that. Time to do the same. What will you do? Uh, hey, Valentino, bestie, what are you up to? I'm going over to Valentino. He's moved away from the map to look from the map to look over a row of seats. Um, have you seen anything? Quite a bit, actually. You perk up, tilting your head to the side. He takes that as a sign to continue. I've seen a countless amount of things. I see things every day. Sometimes if I'm lucky, I can even remember them. Yeah, he's a cunt. <laughs> you just look at him. He looks back at you, sighs, then looks away. So actually a question. I'm having trouble finding anything of now. Well, you bring your hand to your face, trying and probably failing to hide your smile. Uh, would you kiss Valentino? Yeah, I'd kiss him. I'd give him a kiss. Okay. I think I'll kiss him on the forehead and tuck him into bed. Mm -hmm. Give him a little kiss on the cheek, a cheek on the kiss. <sighs> You're telling me Mr. Master's degree needs my help. Are you sure? Well, it seems like your observational skills aren't working on her. In that case, why don't you take a look around for yourself? If you fill the gaps in my knowledge, I'll be greatly appreciated. <laughs> I'm sloppy as I am. You're... Sorry. <laughs> you're valid. Randy, I... it's your character. You can I've... do whatever the fuck you want. Literally, I, I, literally, like, I think if, if you designed characters, you should be able to say whatever you want about them. Literally. Uh, seriously, can and you then, just and ask then you try to And then you try to criticize me for literally just alluding to things, and you just straight up go out and admit that you want a sloppy style all over him. Sloppy. sloppy. I didn't... I didn't say that. He's your schnookums. Schnookums. Seriously, can you just ask for help like a normal person? The logic isn't adding up. I, I can't just dismiss these discrepancies with aliens or experiment and calling it a day. So I need to follow rules, but the butcher doesn't seem to care about them. The killer. Yeah, Even on, yeah, uh, Randy can say whatever. It's true. She, she, they are the president of Project Beefer. She yeah. can, they can say whatever they want. Even on yeah. ethical psychology studies had to follow their own rules, you know. Just so it makes sense. make any sense and there's something about this car the map there's something here there's something here but something's missing where the fuck is my phone I, I was like oh my phone's charging i don't know where my phone is hmm. doesn't matter now you know I'm, I'm streaming it doesn't matter it don't fucking matter it don't fucking matter. Forget about it. Maybe this is what the butcher wants, actually. Maybe they get some odd satisfaction of withholding information from us to drive us crazy. Ugh. What a weirdo. The killer. You the shiver killer. at that. What a scary thought. Even so, you can't help smirking at Valentino's uncharacteristic outburst of frustration. It's funny watching him let loose and rant for once. But moreover, it's... Yeah? It's nice to know you're not the only one feeling completely lost over here. What will you do? What will you Check in with others. Looks like the Valor and Rid Ridley's host conversation is finished, so you decide it should be alright to approach them. Nevada is checking underneath the handicapped seats while Ridley is sitting to the side, gazing around the room and looking lost in thought. Right as you're contemplating all this, Nevada looks at you. Uh, no, it says you're looking at Ridley waves energetically. Hey, yeah, 
Uh, hello, everybody. Hey, Agnes, uh, come here. Let me cook really quick. Uh, uh, don't, don't mind me. She's looking at places right now. Give it back to us when she's done. Listen. Hello, everybody. Valentino and Nevada have very different voices. Anytime you see me music before speaking to Nevada, I'm, I'm, I'm literally saying hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to my last of my I'm your host, Toy Mark Online here today. Just the way you do it, you just start saying something, just I'm really just like very quiet. Just like, just like oh, Lord, buddy. <laughs> no, I'm I not okay, to. Randy. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Nevada's not quite the Nevada's voice came from. Yeah, that's why Billy's doing it. <laughs> Hello everybody. I had to reset myself from Valentine. Hello, everybody. Welcome to being trapped in a train. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Project Beefer. What if Rocket Player plays Project Beefer? I would. That would be amazing. Uh, that would be amazing, but you would also have a sudden flood of uh, people suddenly demanding a sequel right now. However, lots of people have money. True. 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 That's so true. Yeah, yeah no, thank you. I'd rather. <laughs> You'd rather Kuma, <laughs> you'd rather Kuma TM for pieces. Kuma TM moment. Oh yeah, she gets like this when she's stumped by puzzles, you know, shenanigans, situations, complicated things. I think she's got a better eye for analyzing than me. That's how you get pink eye. What? <laughs> <laughs> analyzing. <laughs> Analyzing yeah. anal eyes. Yeah. 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 That's comedy, yeah. baby. Anyway, Lucy. Uh, Aww. She's normal. Every time you think you've gotten used to her presence, she, she opens her mouth and you get proven so wrong. No, I'm definitely sure her eyes are brown. Hey, speaking of- So, <laughs> anyone here in the anime? <laughs> what? Huh? This conversation has given you whiplash. You're too winded to even attempt an answer. Oh, that's a guilty pleasure. Yeah. At, at earlier when she said, do you like anime? I was like, oh, she likes show by rock, definitely. No. She don't. <laughs> this bitch That's probably, probably not about anything like. She probably loved Shimonetta. No. Yeah. Shima yeah, Shimonetta. Yeah. Yeah. She fucking adored the Shimonetta. Yeah. Come on. Even though the majority of mainstream media is clearly subliminal messaging, I gotta admit there are some good ones out there. You imagine yourself far away from this conversation, maybe on a beach or under a weighted blanket or in some dark cave somewhere. Conversation vacation. Point being, you'd love not to be here right now. I mean, of the way they draw. <laughs> Stay alive, Lucy. Stay alive, bright eyes. Every now and then you are horny. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Every now and then you fall apart. Where's my phone? And I need you more than never. Hold on. Hold on. Say your line. You have to. It's part of the contract. Oh, oh, I actually have arachnophobia. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's my favorite one! Erica looks down at her chest, then up at Nevada, then back down again. <laughs> she slowly pulls her coat over her chest. Mm. See this, Nevada also looks down at his chest. He makes a genuine painstaking attempt to button up his shirt. This goes on for a full minute. <laughs> There's simply too much chest and not enough shirt. You're, he's forced to abort his mission. He tried really hard to avoid your eyes from both these chest-related situations. 
No! Ridley snaps back to attention, grabbing Nevada's color and pulls their shirt back into its usual half open state. Babe, stop. This isn't you. <laughs> the Grimes moment. <laughs> Babe, call me. What? This isn't your heart. I cannot support <laughs> hate like this. <laughs> don't ever call death insinuating Nevada is Elon Musk, and I don't like it. Please, don't. Horrible. You shouldn't. Ever need to cover up for anyone? You think I'm the government? Mark my words, I'll never cover up. That's my second <laughs> favorite line. Oh, thank God. Really, it's her head into anything. their chest and lets out a sigh of relief. Erica looks down her chest, co contemplating. It's coming back! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's bigger than mine. This game is awesome. This um, game is... Yeah. Okay. Has anyone noticed anything about the room? Really pulls away for air, turns to face you, and points a finger at you. I can confirm that there are zero puzzles in this room. I mean, I could give it another shot, but, you know, if I can't find a puzzle, it's not worth finding. And I haven't found anything myself. Pretty certain that we're dealing with some kind of duplication glitch at this point. Jace is being so normal in the chat. You can't say you exactly trust them e either, though. They have a perfect grasp on the situation. Maybe you should look around yourself. I'm gonna go now. Look, look around. I mean, really nods encouraging at you. While Nevada gives you a thumbs up. Erica is well, also there. You do not make eye contact. Do your best. Everything looks the same as before, right down to the monitor next to the back door. Which, speaking of... Maybe talking directly to the source could clear things up. Probably wouldn't hurt. At least. Only one way to find out. Now that you're looking at it up close, there's not a whole lot going on here. Button-wise, in fact, there's no buttons. You feel around the sides. Nope, nothing. You poke the screen. Nothing happens. You press your palm into it. Still nothing. You knock on it like it's a door. The screen remains blank. Uh, Subathon Gold 500 subs. Uh, also, you give me directly $100. Also, give me money too. You can also give me money too. I'm going to see my partner in a moment. Yeah. Just, a, just a thought. You don't have to. Uh, not required, not necessary, but you could. It's true. If you wanna. What the hell? This makes no sense. Are you getting ghosted by your kidnappers? No, that can't be. The Dairy Fairy would never do that to you. You smack the screen a few more times. Nothing happens. Well, if they're just going to ignore you, you reach up and grab hold of the monitor with both of your hands. Agnes, what are you? Seems like people have noticed what you're doing. Everyone crowds around you to varying degrees of alarm. Suddenly, the screen flickers on. Stop. <laughs> oh. Oh. Logically, there's no reason to obey. Now that you've grasped the monitor, you can feel how light it actually is. You could easily rip it off the wall right now. But as you stare into this puppet's two glassy eyes, you can't help but feel the change in tone. It's not playful and fun like usual, nor is it even aggressive. It's oddly serene, as if it'd be at peace with whatever it, it, it'd have to do to stop you, whatever that entails. That, above all, is what makes you loosen your grip on the monitor and step back. You could feel everyone hovering around uncertainly around you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for listening to your pal. <laughs> uh, what? 
Uh, anyways, what's next? We've been in here for a while. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm so sorry to have kept all my little cattle cuties waiting. <laughs> the butcher here just needed to double check everything was ready for the experiment's next step. Between you and me, I really wanted to help, but work like that is simply too much for my little hooves. My little hooves! Those are my hooves! You hear that? They're my <laughs> hooves! Trust me, you all would have gone from grazing cattle to raging balls if we rushed something like this. Look, I'm actually sorry, I got you all figured out. You know, and you and your... Uh, Change. Over the course of my studies, I found that change is always your greatest obstacle. Which is why I suggested we give y'all rooms that feel cozy and familiar. What is this fucking <laughs> emote, Randy? Ain't I just a peach? What do you mean this is a what? perp emote? <laughs> what is perp of this oh, yeah. emote? Perp. Perp. You know, perp, big fan of celibacy. Celibacy. Yeah. Celibacy. That's how you yeah. pronounce it. I know perp. She loves celibacy. <laughs> celibacy. She has made a vow to never have sex ever. Ever ever. Why? Because that way her immortal soul will go directly to heaven. Mm -hmm. It's where she can kill God directly. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Did it's you read the line? Spooky. I can't remember. I read the fucking line. Okay. okay. I ain't here. I got distracted. Isn't it just a peach? Do peach? Like Tetramitas? Yeah. Hold on. And I just a bitch. And I just a bitch. And they so bitch. <laughs> oh, you're. Oh, he's still here. I was like, I don't know if he left the stream. I was gonna take a. I was gonna take a picture. I'm still gonna send this picture because that's funny to me. Huh? Huh? That same ding dong rings out. Um, the door at the end of the car opening up. That is all. Yeah. Good luck. To have fun. I love you. Bye. 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 I love bye. you too. Hey, wait. Um, I have a quick question to Randy and uh, and other mods and people who have played this game. How no. much longer do I have in the game? You, uh, you're, past, you're past the midway point. Yeah, you're nearly done. There's there's only one more puzzle. There's only okay. Yeah. Cause I was just like, I know it's like a short, I know it's like a short game, but I just like, it is 10 o'clock. My, my, my housemates are winding down. And so I didn't want to like stay up a bit too late. No, um, this shouldn't take too yeah. long. Although the last puzzle is really uh, complicated. Okay. Um, yeah. But what, won't be as long as the wire puzzle though. Got, okay. Uh, true. You grit your teeth, feeling your face heat with frustration. A lot of what was said was upsetting. What do they mean by familiar? Why is it so familiar? Just how long are you supposed to all stay here? Dying like this. Oh, I doubt we'll die here. Well, uh, how would you know? If you assume that even it's a fire puzzle to draw from. I'm just saying, there are a lot of puzzles out of there. Don't feed yourself right now, babe. She zips babe. her mouth shut and throws away the key. As, as I was saying, the Shisko experiment is unsustainable. Take a closer look at everything around you, from all the killers, intimidation tactics, they can't even- they can't hide their method's flaws. You sniffle and nod. It all feels so insurmountable, but Valentino's logic does actually make you feel a li little bit better. At least you're not going through this nightmare alone. 
I'm so... You look at her. She walks up to the door, stops right in front of it, and looks at everyone. The new season of anime is starting in a few weeks. And if I miss Triple D... <laughs> and if I miss Spike's family season three, I'm as good as dead. And then she's gone. There's Triple a moment D of poignant. There's a moment of, of poignant silence. Everyone needed a second to observe that. What did you want me? <laughs> and if I miss Triple D, Big Bounce University. I don't think I've heard of that one before. <laughs> the killer. <laughs> the killer slamming doors. The killer. Killer. Anyway, the, the, uh, the killer. So true. Anyways, I personally still have my podcast to get back to. Every second I get spent here, I could have been just dedicating to the truth. Bro, he has a podcast. And I barely have any sick days left. I love work. I love overtime. I love work. I love overtime. <laughs> Nevada love steps work. out, but, has it, but Ridley hesitates in the doorway. You two coming? Of, of course. Valentino walks out to join them and you hurry along behind him. One by one, the three of you file into the next room. The last to walk into the room, something that's become a habit by now. What the? Oh, 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 oh. It's my girlfriend. Uh, it's fucking her. Uh, Fuck Pikmin 4, I need her. The last to walk into the room, something that's become a habit by now. When you walk in, you immediately notice the smell of cement and dirt. Uh, it sure is. This is Randy running territory. Get scared? I'm I'm not scared. I'm excited. Um, industrial. I think I have COVID. <laughs> Very rundown and industrial. Uh, the next thing you notice is the big cement mixer in the room. There's loose cables hanging from the ceiling. A stack of wooden boxes in the back, and some caution tape blocking out a row of seats. Um, seems like a standard amount of weirdness. You're getting too used to this. Like the other rooms, though, you can see out this room's windows. Everyone has already gathered around one in particular. No way. It, is this real? Is what real? You stand on your toes and crane your neck, looking over everyone's heads. Noticing this really takes your hand and pulls you through the group. She points wordlessly to the window. Your jaw drops. Jaw drop! The world outside is full of nothing but stars. Vast swathes of them, ancient, infinite, glittering so bright the window, the window panes barely seem to restrain or contain them. When clusters are gathered, the space around them glows purple and blue. Um... Pretty sure this room has the most changes in the new version. I um, also once again I ask how long between this and the non-human um, the non-human UFOs uh, news dropping. You can't help but hold your <laughs> breath. This is you've been to planetariums before. You've seen pictures of the stars taken in the desert where there's no light pollution. Something about this feels too real. We're in. Space? Yeah, seems like it. <laughs> Nevada adjusts their glasses and scratches their chin, looking more serious than usual. They reach out and point out at the bottom right corner of the window. You see that? You stoop down to get a closer look. It's a blue celestial body smudged with green and white. It couldn't be. There's no way. What? No! There's no way. What? How? <laughs> Nevada notes and nods and shrugs. Everyone seems to be on the same page. At least. There's no confusion about what the implications here. You're looking at Earth from outer space. The room is deathly silent for once. Ridley squeezes your hand tight. You can feel her shaking. So this is the information we're working with right now. This... He knocks on the window with one ringed knuckle. It does indeed look like Earth, but that... 
He points to a cluster of dust and rocks right next to the planet. It's a collection of asteroids. So if he can see the Earth and we can see these asteroids with the naked eye, why not the other planets? Where is our sun? Nevada pushes up their glasses and chuckles. Ah. Oh. oh, Valentino, you didn't let me finish. This planet may look like that, but it's not. It's actually Senilia 963, or as it's commonly known, tell us. Tell us more. Valentino's oh, eyebrows oh, shoot oh, all the way up, oh. up its forehead. He lets out a derisive huff. Nevada frowns. That is so funny. Sh sure. Go on. Tell me more. I will tell you more, but just in case, I don't know if the game will crash or anything like that. I just want to save. I don't know if it will happen, but I just, I just want to save. No, yeah, that's it. It's fair. The father is still frowning, but he doesn't hesitate to continue. The loss is a sister planet to Earth. It was discovered around 75 years ago in a neighboring galaxy. Is, is this true? I have no proof. It's a planet that's been kept a nas national secret with ah. everything that's necessary to create life. Water, carbon, oxygen. Ah, okay. Valentino narrows his eyes. Nevada shoots him a challenging look. What? What's the galaxy's name? How far is it? Who published a study? That's not relevant right now. Listen, the proof is sitting right in front of your eyes, Valentino. You're the one refusing to look. The government records go back for years. Tell us it's far, too far for you to visit it in person. But throughout technology, we never see its progress. As of 10 years ago, signs of life have been confirmed. You're saying Nevada nods. Valentina looks out of, out of, out looks, looks at you out of the side of his eyes and shakes his head minutely. Looks like he's restraining himself. You can't help smiling wryly. At least now he knows what it's like talk, talking. <laughs> At least he knows what it's like talking with him. <laughs> this this oh. fucking emote. <laughs> um. Also, um. Uh. Chad, how do they know? Uh. How? How, how do they know? How do they? How? How do they know? How do they know? How do they know? How do they know? Why you so good? At how? How do they know? All of this is admittedly oh, a lot, even if Nevada is right about all of this. You're a bit busy escaping the killer right now. You can deal with the aliens when you get back home. Yeah. Ah, oh, Rosen, uh, thank you for the raid. Hi, Rosen. Hi, Rosen. Hi. X.com, don't click on that. No way. I'm pretty I, sure that'll just redirect to Twitter. I wonder what that is. I wonder what kind of site that is. I'm, I'm pretty sure that just redirects I to Twitter. what kind of site that could possibly be. No, it literally just... It literally just redirects to Twitter. It literally just redirects to Twitter. Oh, thank God. Wow. No, actually, that's bad. Yeah. Hi, Rosen. Uh, welcome to the stream. Um, you just did a three and a half hour random recording. You're going to have fun with the rest of the game. Oh, thank you. Uh, we are close to the end, but please play this game. It's very fun. It's free, okay. too. And also, Rosen, Rosen, I know that you, you uh, loved uh, doing uh, Kudero Burger Burg. And uh, Nevada is within the same uh, vein of character design, archetype, everything, you know? So sweaty. So sweaty. Right, so it's like how many light years from Earth is the secret planet again? Valentine crosses his arms, clearly not buying it. Nevada clears her throat. I may be off, as I've never done this calculation myself. From what I've heard, we are seeing tens of thousands. We are seeing tens of thousands of years into the past. Valentino puts up one hand to his head, massaging his temples. And you think we're orbiting outside the planet? The planet that is tens of thousands of years away? It's gonna take us back to the past. 
And to be clear, one light year is 5.8 trillion miles. The distance of light particle travel, the light tra particles within one year, not a unit of time. You claim that we unknowingly and spontaneously traveled thousands of light years through empty space in these dilapidated subway cars without spacesuits. To summarize, you're saying both teleportation and any exist, and that's why we're in this mess. Yes. You this is a this is a certified emoji with the nerd glasses pushing them up and going uh, yeah yeah actually <laughs> um um certified actually moments. He stands up from where he's leaning against the pole and points his pen at Nevada, suddenly serious. So where's your proof? Proof? I don't Nevada. need proof. Nevada I have scratches his head. Well... Suddenly Ridley steps forward and sticks a finger in Valentino's face. Where's your proof? Valentino barely This is clearly the exact same thing. <laughs> I just noticed Valentino has a little fame. Awesome. Valentino barely flinches, just blinks at her incredulously. His jaw tightens minutely and he wraps a pen against the pole. But gradually, you admit you're a bit impressed by his poker face. So sorry, my proof? I'm not the one making claims here. Nevada is, therefore, they should be capable of defending themselves. Well, I don't like the way you're speaking to my partner right now. And I don't see you presenting any better ideas, so... Uh... Oh, that's true. Just because I prefer to wait until I have sufficient evidence before I share my fi- He's caught off by the familiar sound of a microphone feedback. The killer and the dairy fairy flicker into existence on a nearby screen. Hi everyone! Hi! Hi! Uh, Fuck, hi. I wish I had- I wish I had pulled up, like, uh, closer hold up. Uh... Yeah? Hi! Hold on. Uh... We're gonna, we're gonna do this again. Uh, the killer and the da dairy fairy <gasps> flicker into existence on a nearby screen. Hi everyone! Uh, hi! 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 I see you've been taking the view. <sighs> Beautiful, isn't it? Lucy? Lucy. Hey, Lucy. Lucy. Oh no, Erica lost her voice. She can't speak oh, no! anymore. Oh uh, I get it. My explanation term might have been a lot to understand. Oh, dairy fairy. Please tell me that we're not in space and actually secretly in an underground bunker or literally anywhere else, really. I had to come in and break up this fight. It's no good for friends to fight each other, you know? It's... <laughs> it makes me very sad. Everyone's just mad that I won't read the... Or that I won't read the horny line. Everyone's just mad that I won't read the horny line. He sobs or if he's like, it's before being You're so mad. Randy is so fucking mad that you won't... Read horny. <laughs> wow. Concept. What a concept. Um, it pulls at your heartstrings. Seems a cute, such a cute and cuddly creature. Weeps so openly. Curly glasses is correct. That is indeed tell us. <laughs> you like Kanawa Date? Yeah. I still fucking groan at every single horny <laughs> line he does. Yeah. Yes, I knew it! Uh, is Whirling Glasses supposed to be me? Sh sure, I'll go along with this. But first, do you explain how exactly you transported us here? Everyone's yelling at me. I need- Everyone's yelling at me. Fine, I'll- I'll- I'll go back and read the fucking line. I see you've been taking the sights. Beautiful, isn't it? Ah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Our technology is far more advanced than that of humanity. <laughs> the fucking wall of this monkey emoji is so funny. And, and, we'd really love to tell you everything honest, but, um, um... There's a bomb by the door and none of you have noticed. Uh. All heads whip around and look at the back of the car, like the boy, like the killer said. A large box with a complicated mess of wires and switches sits on the floor near the door. A now familiar sensation of horror sinks deep within your chest. A bomb? A fucking bomb? Oh my God, JC! A bomb! Oh, please stay safe, everyone. The stakes are high this time. Oh, it's like a pun. I, guess. I was about to say, I hope someone got fired, oh, but like, it. no, it's uh -huh. a pun. It's a pun. It, uh, you're safe for now. Cat saying that she casually threw aside a large rock. <laughs> you may activate and deactivate the light panels as you wish, but the wires, once they're cut, they cannot be reconnected. The hell? Wait. Good luck. <laughs> Can we help it just a little bit? I'm scared. The screen fizzes and shuts off. Cold, silent dread fills the room. All eyes are fixated on the bomb, but nobody seems willing to be the first to touch it. Looks like it's up to you. And again, what will you do? Examine the bomb. Before you can act, a very glittery hand on your arm stops you. Hold it! We have a thing of going head first into this one. Annoyed. Uh, I know you ripped your arm from his grip and shake it out. So what if I was? It's worked for us up till now. Your instincts have worked remarkably well, but now it's a bomb. We need to exercise a bit more caution. I agree. Quickly shuffles over the two of you. She in a hesitant look at Valentino and relaxing when he gives a short nod. She looks visibly more exhausted than she was just a few minutes ago. Look, Agnes, it's not that I have anything against you, it's just... Really looks to Valentino helplessly. She won't look at you. What is she trying to say? This is really serious. Our lives are at stake. We need to take a second to really think about what to do here. I still can't help but see what Finn and Clavier and Valentino compliment, I promise. <laughs> Hell yeah. But I, I'm i trying to... You can't even get the words out. Really, you've been lucky the last few times, but now your stomach twists. Uh, They think you're going to fuck it up. The worst part? Deep down, you know they're right. Glasses, it's not that, it's... Stop calling me glasses, I have a name! But besides, do you really think, do you honestly think I'd be that reckless? That I'd go and hurt everyone? You think I... The last few words, your voice cracks. God, you feel pathetic. You feel like you're actually starting to make friends with these people. Why would they automatically assume the worst of you? Do they think you're that stupid? Or do they think you just don't care? Whatever. If they won't give you the benefit of the doubt, you're not giving them jack shit anymore. They can figure out the puzzle by themselves. You turn around to wipe your eyes for fur furtive furtively? And face them again, just said. Right. <coughs> You all feel the same? Nevada doesn't meet your eyes, but coughs and nods. Erica tilts her head to the side. Uh, Ridley is right. It's nothing wrong, nothing against you. You glare at him. Right, nothing against you, of course. I don't want to see 
here comes out a large explosive. Er Erica. Erica shuts her mouth and kicks the floor. Just be careful of this one. Is what I meant. She also doesn't make eye contact with you. You grimace, shake, and pull the strap of your bag closer on your chest. Fuck off. Fine. If my teammates can't trust that, I won't try to get them all killed. That's not... Agnes, I don't mean... You raise your voice to talk over her. Then sure, I'll fuck off. Whatever! She reaches towards you, but you shake her off. How naive of you to imagine, even just for a second, that you'd be able to make friends in this place like this. What universe would people like them ever think to give you the time of day? Part of you is angry with them, but the other part... The part that you hate the most is angry at you. At yourself for having expectations in the first place. For nurturing them, for giving up, for being so... Just too much. They're just too much. They're not good enough. And you're supposed to make peace with that fact ages ago. Clearly, you haven't. The tears welling up in your eyes, no matter how furiously you scrub them away. Sorry. Sorry, I... I, I get it. I, I... I shouldn't. Agnes, let, let's just solve this and get out of here. You keep your eyes firmly trained on the floor and turn away to wipe your face and glasses. Behind you, Valentino sighs. Alright, we should split up and get a better grasp of what we're dealing with. I'll take the crates over there. The other three murmur in agreement and begin dividing tasks between each other. You take a deep breath, and then another, trying to center yourself and push down the ugly feelings churning in your stomach. There's still a bomb. Now isn't the time to freak out. Before all that, you didn't even get a good chance to search the room for clues. You put your glasses back on and take stock of the situation. The fat and rigidly are standing by a graffiti wall near the back row of seats. Valentino is standing on a stack of honestly rather big and precarious boxes erica is crouched in front of a still functioning cement mixer you approach a cement mixer erica is crouched in front of it staring deep into the hole crouching you crouch down next to her and stare to the mixer neither of you look at each other or say anything this is unhelpful you decide to bite the bullet did you, uh, find anything? Erica looks at you, then she looks into the mixer. Just a massive gaping hole. Yeah. You stare at her, annoyed. After all that, she can't even give you a straight answer. You could've just said no. You wait for a response, but her expression never changes. Still as serene as ever. Whatever, you don't have the time for this. You get up to leave, but she grabs your shirt. There's something in there. You can't reach. Why didn't you just... You sigh, but thankfully Erica is already moving out of the way. You stick your arm in the mixer, groping blindly for whatever's in there. With the angle you're at, you end up facing her as you do so. She stares at you, unblinking, big eyes sparkling. Are her pupils dilating like a cat's? You try to look anywhere at her. Uh, is there anything even in here? I, I'm sorry. I say. <gasps> you jerk back to attention. She's extremely not looking at you. I don't really talk much. Usually. Oh, really? I didn't. I am. Um, sometimes people will laugh at what I say. So, I try to. She's looking like she's struggling to find the right words. You wait with bated breath. Her neck and the tip of her ears are slowly turning red. I don't... 
get out much. I am usually at home watching people on the internet and um anyway, I didn't mean to upset you earlier. Which time? Oh. She meets your eyes again. You look away. You can't let her spark with cat like eyes in trance you when you have to like process this. It's the first time Erica said anything so normal. You both sit together in silence until you feel something wet and sticky on your hand. Uh, you pull your hand out immediately and wipe it on the floor. Was that cement? You really hope it wasn't. Ugh! Erica shuffles over and looks at your hand. She's gonna say something about it. You can just feel it. There's something brewing in her. You're gonna have to face the consequences of walking straight into a very easy sex joke. <laughs> Actually, she looks unwell. You don't think she's breathing? Is she holding her breath? She's trying very, very hard to look away from your sloppy mess of a hand. I have something very normal to share with you that has nothing to do with your hand. Are you okay with that? Aww. Suddenly, Erica rummages through the front of her dress and pulls out a crumpled up card. I think you might see a vein popping on her forehead. Here, I found it stuck to the front of the cement mixer. Why did you make me stick my hand in there if you already found a clue? She shrugs and hands you the card. The card has red, blue, and purple dots on it. You're not sure what to do with it, but it's a peace offering, so you might as well pocket it. You shove it in your bag and stand up. You make sure to shake off the rest of what you're really hoping wasn't cement off your hand. Shift around awkwardly. Should you say anything? I hope someone got fired for this. 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 Got fired for this. Damn. Uh, Bobo. Well, criminal. thanks for your help. Erica just looks at you. You can't get trapped in those eyes again. You don't have time. And thanks for earlier. Erica's expressing shifts into what you think is a smile. <laughs> I would never leave a woman unsatisfied. <laughs> she gives you a thumbs up. You give her one back and suppress a smile. <laughs> I love autistic, horny women. That Eric is so funny to me. Just <laughs> makes a horny comment. Thumbs up. <laughs> Very funny to me. Um. Anyways, um, I guess I should click on this. You're messing with one of the large, oversized cogs in the scene when you notice Erica slink with purpose over towards the big boxes. She seems like she's making a real effort to look inconspicuous about it, but the sound of her heels clicking makes it impossible to focus on anything else. She's reaching for something on the boxes. It's a... cup? She cradles it in her hand. It looks like some kind of fast food cup that's been drawn on with marker. You squint. Erica's face melts in admiration? Attraction? <laughs> Love at first sight? <laughs> oh wow. He's blushing. I I didn't expect to see you here. <laughs> I, I'm such a huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> She's fascinated and incomprehensible. You have to let her have a meet and greet moment. It's none of your business. You shake your head and turn back to the cogs. After me, she makes her way back to the cement mixer. When you look back at the big boxes, the cup is gone. Did she take it? That's yeah. so awesome. I love her. That's so awesome. You decide to look at the graffiti reluctantly. As you approach, you very deliberately look at Ridley or, or avoid looking at Ridley or Nevada. <sighs> Ridley quietly talks with Nevada and you can make out your name being said in hurried whispers. You tune it out as best as you can and focus on the graffiti. Most of it is nonsense words and unfathomable images. You barely make out what it's supposed to say. Ridley really walks up to you sheepishly. Hey, Agnes, are you mad at me? Are My you iPhone mad at me? just told me to me? go to bed. Do you want to throw stones at me and kill me? Are you mad at me? My iPhone just told me to go to bed. <laughs> How will you respond? <laughs> oh. Hmm, Matt, what kind of question is that? So obviously just ask you to ease her consciousness. Sure, you may have lied a little there. I'm still upset that no one in the room trusts you. 
But mad? You're never really mad. You were just hurt. You still are. Doesn't seem like there's anything else to look over here. You try and scoot around Ridley to find more clues, but she holds the hand out to stop you. Listen, I... Sorry, that question wasn't useful. I want to say I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... You... Don't worry about it. I'm fine. Take another step away, heat rising to your cheeks. How much does she need to get off her guilty conscience here? Hasn't she said enough? Agnes, please. Ridley, I got it. You can stop now. She shrinks back. I was just trying to. To apologize, I know. But please, just leave me alone. You can feel the tears coming back, pricking the corners of your eyes again. You know she doesn't deserve it, but you can't hold back your frustration. You're trying to apologize because I'm crying, right? So you can feel better? No, no, I... Agnes, you're being unfair. Uh, unfair? How? They put a hand on Ridley's shoulder. She leans into the touch, shoulders relaxing. You can help with get that pain, that jealousy that lances through you at that. A hug would be... It would be really nice right about now. She wants to apologize to make you feel better, not herself. You're barely listening. The way they comfort each other makes you feel more alone. You've already given up, but it hurts when you're reminded others and, and others just can just like that like it's something so easy just let me okay how can you decide it should really be easy if you, have, you won't even hear her out it's work together to solve this you know and that can't happen if you don't meet her halfway your throat goes dry suddenly you have nothing to say. The mixer hovers invitingly in the edge of your vision. You wonder if you can crawl inside and hide there forever. Cement's edible, right? Nevada is wearing an expression more serious than you thought capable of. You look back out the window. I, I get how you feel. A lot, of, not, a lot of people don't give me a chance to explain my full process. Not just, not just Valentino, but I used to lash out at them until I met Ridley, Shelby this, you know? What I'm telling you right now, I mean. They look at you earnestly. Look down at your sneakers. She might disagree with you, but I don't mean you ha they hate you or that if you get stupid or insulting you. If they say something that hurts you. And I'll apologize if you let them. They step back, nod at Ridley, and look back at the window. You sit on their words, not sure what to do with them. Agnes, I'm truly sorry. I didn't mean to gang up on you with everyone, I'm just... I'm really scared. I shouldn't have taken it out on you. It was kind of fun before with puzzles and stuff, but this is... This is real danger. I've never gone through something like this, this scary before. I just want us, all of us, to make it safe to the end. You included. You switch from your s sneakers to the cement mixer. It looks cozy around the second. So, I'm sorry. I hope you'll forgive me, but you don't have to. She might be sincere. But you don't know what to do with her words. You don't know what to say now after what you already said. Maybe you messed this up too badly. Ridley gives you a few seconds to respond, then smiles nervously at you and steps aside to give you space. Well, I'll be over here. Wait! You reach out and grab the strap of her overalls unconsciously, then immediately let go and wince like you were burned. 
didn't mean to intrude on her personal space like that, but she doesn't seem to mind. I, I, I'm sorry that the words have barely left your mouth and she suddenly wraps you up in a tight hug. Oh, well. Ooh! <coughs> oh, thank goodness. I was so scared you'd hit me forever. Despite your thought from a few minutes ago, spontaneous hugs are really not your thing. You're unsure how to respond, so you decide to go limp in her arms like a noodle. Let me get in on this. Nevada comes up and wraps both of you in a bigger, tighter hug. Your feet are no longer touching the floor. I, I, I can't. Oh, right. They release you. You stumble back and gasp for air on the verge of passing out. You think you saw the dairy fairy standing at the pearly gates. <laughs> Sorry, Agnes. Ridley suddenly gasps and grabs your hand. Oh, I almost forgot. Check this out. She rips her card off of your wall and hands it to you. The card has yellow dots, green dots, and a single blue dot. I'm not sure what to do with it, but it's a peace offering. You pocket it and flash her a thumbs up, immediately regretting the latter. She grins and does two back at you, so at least she doesn't seem to mind. Uh, uh, we'll be over here if you... That's not me. Ridley! We'll be over here if you need us again, okay? You give her yet another thumbs up, and she returns to the window with Nevada. Our... Like, thumbs up your thing now? When did you start doing this? You can't be the thumbs up girl. Never do that again. Well, what am I? Who are you? You really don't want to go over to where Valentino is. Those are some big boxes in the back. Damn, biggest boxes you've ever seen. Probably the biggest boxes on the train. Gee, if you had some measuring tapes, so you can measure how big these boxes are. You have a hell of a story to tell your zero friends when you get out of here. Homestuck ass line. Where'd my mouse go? Where'd my fucking mouse go? There it is. Enough of that. Stop stalling. You can take a deep breath and walk <coughs> over to, you know. Okay, just, just get it over with. Valentino is um. He's examining the big, big boxes. Um, um, auto mod held a message for a reason. Aggression. Allow will post it to chat. Casino Moto, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it is. You gotta. You, that's a hope stuck ass fucking line. That's so funny. That fuck you is an aggression, but shut the fuck up is aggression. That's so funny. It's it it if pizza wet box it talks about wow these boxes are really big that's so cool these boxes really cool they're big and there's a lot of them. He hated Billy because they said the truth. Why do you hate these boxes like that? Because I hate you. How are you? No. <laughs> You're speechless. He stares at you for a minute, and then back at the boxes. No! You have no idea what just came out of your mouth. You both stare at the boxes while sitting next to each other. Neither of you say a word. It's a very normal thing to do. <laughs> After it feels like 10 minutes, you notice a piece of paper at the very top of the stack. Did Valentino not notice it? No way. That guy would have snatched it up and gloated about it by now. You do want to grab it for yourself, though. The problem is... You're not exactly very tall. There's an option here, but you're going to ignore it as long as you can. Find anything interesting? Shouldn't I be asking you that? You snap at him, pouts. Oh. Don't tell me you're still mad. 
you weigh your options. If Valentino could easily reach it, then you have to deal with his dumb and smug face. Alternatively, looks stable enough for you to climb it. Maybe. 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 Now I'll ask for help. Can you hand me that paper up there? Uh. Oh. You point uh, to the top of the boxes. I'm sure I could. Ugh, cunt. Then... <laughs> I said I could, not that I would. Oh, he's funny. You briefly consider ripping the extensions out of his hair. You shouldn't be so confident. He could stab you with those nails if he fights back. Well... Time to climb. His jaw drops. You thought about turning around and flipping him off, but you lose your footing and fall, which would be so embarrassing. You'd definitely die if that happened. I fucking love this guy so much. Little, oomph, little oomphy meow meow. Ugh, it's fine. You can almost reach the note anyways. You stretch your arm out and snatch. Gotcha. Gotcha. Like Genshin. Good job. Huh? Oh, not my name, sorry. Good job you showed me. Now get down. Is that worry in his voice? Probably not, but it would be funny. It would be really funny. Be Secure really your funny. footing and turn to look at him. Funny. Wave the note in the air like a flag. What are you so worried about? I'm not gonna fuck. No sooner than the words leave your mouth, your foot slips and a wooden plank from the box snaps under your weight. Shit! That's a very Midwestern moment. By the way, I'm streaming the rest of this on the floor. You scramble and try to find something to grip, but alas, you're already falling backwards. Um, no, I'm not, um, fall- I'm not streaming this on the floor because I fell off my chair. I voluntarily got off my chair because I wasn't comfortable anymore, now I'm laying on the ground. Hmm, oh. that's not like a- that sounds like a, something that somebody who fell off their chair would say. You <laughs> genuinely did not fall off my chair, this is not a bit. You ha- you are known for falling off chairs, to uh, be honest. If that I fell true. off my chair, I would make an audible, loud noise. That is true. Yeah, true. Yes. <laughs> Agnes! Agnes! You squeeze your eyes shut Agnes, and oh. the impact that never comes. Instead, two hands are shoved under your arms and you're pulled away from the boxes, and you fall both fall backwards. Ugh, what a mess. He did not just catch you. Why does this feel so interesting and falling flat on the ground? At least he sort of broke your fall. You definitely expect the faux fur in his jacket to be so itchy. You scoop back to give him some space while he assesses the damage. I don't know what, there's something about him just like catching you that just, it just, it, it like struck my heart. I'm like, oh. He motions over for you to come closer. You hesitate. He catches you like a cat. Oh. You look to your left. You look to your right. Can you feel that? Yeah, you're playing with love tonight. <laughs> like how you hold up a cat to make them look long. Awesome. And you scoot back over. He points to this middle finger. You s do, do you see this? Uh, no. Look closer. He's mad at you. You look closer. I don't see what... Puts on the rest of his Put fingers, them. flipping you off. <laughs> ah! Only seems fair. You bat his hand away. You could have just asked me for help. I fucking did! <laughs> You're Literally. an asshole. You're an asshole. Fucking cunt. He shrugs. He's like cunt lovingly. Sure. You turn away from him and read the note you almost died to get. Valentine reads over your shoulder. You try to elbow him out of the way, yet he persists. It's a card that has blue and black dots on it. That's it? 
you're not sure what to do with it, but you nearly died to get it, so you pocket it. I'm leaving now. <gasps> Wait, they didn't update that line. <gasps> there's no, there's no black dots on that at all. What? What? Uh, you got a piece of paper that had, should have blue circles only. There's no black dots on it. Uh oh. Damn. Uh, don't worry about it. It's fine. Agnes is colorblind. Oh, uh, you stop. You're not missing anything. It's fine. What do you want? He sticks up his nose. I just wanted to say, you owe me a new set of acrylic. <laughs> Mods fighting in the chat. <laughs> Devs fighting in the chat. What? He waves his hands dismissively. I saved you from falling and in the process ruined the perfectly good set of nails. So naturally, you should repay me. After this? He crosses his arms. Obviously. Well, do you know any place where I can get a full set? Oh, yeah? For sure. You're lying. You don't know the first thing about nails, but something tells you you should stop butting heads with this guy. It's not like you'd actually take him up on an offer to hang out, but... Couldn't be so bad, right? Maybe this is his way, his way of making amends? Could be fun. You fidget nervously. Don't get a big head about it. You just repaid me a favor. That's all. There's something that... Erica would say. But I'm not Erica. Something about head. He won't look at you. Uh, no. Right. Well, you're not exactly disappointed about that. You literally just said he wouldn't care otherwise. But still, you kicked the box. Ah! Shouldn't have done that. He looks at you with the corner of his eyes and laughs. You're so great. Okay, how about we... He squints at your shirt and looks back at you. Go to the band store. Uh, what? He reads his hand as if he should clearly know what he's talking about. Y you know. The, the, mu the music one. Well, you can listen to something or other. I, I don't know. That took a turn. Now you two are just playing a day at the mall together. Way to go, Agnes. People with friends do things like that. You deserve a pat on the back. Oh, okay. You perk up. He rolls his eyes. Uh, Alright, enough of this. Weren't you doing something? Oh, yeah. The bomb. Boom. The killer. Please, don't let me stop you. You nod and start to leave. I uh, Don't forget about my manicure. Sure, sure. You laugh thinking he's joking. I'm, I'm serious. You sound serious. What do you think you see him smile? By the way, you can click on things you clicked on before again. Oh. More scenes. Like, uh, there's a part of me that's like, ooh, more s I'm gonna save. Um, I'm gonna save because as much- Oh, can I save now or not? Uh, you, have to, you have to be like in a text screen. So like, click anything. Because as much as I would love to, it is getting late, and I want to just see enough. the end of the game. Understandable. I'm so close. I know I'm so close. I just... It's 11 o'clock. <laughs> Give me two. You're right. I'm, I'm, like a, I will I'm mainly wanting to save, like, not in the case of, like, I'm gonna go... 
but more in the case of I want to come back to this later and look at this flavor text and I just want to finish the yeah. game. Yeah. It's like, not me. Be... This for... Yeah. Um, go to bomb. Bomb. And take a look at the bomb, bomb on the floor. What we do? Let's do this thing. Look at the three cards your friends gave you. Let's do or die quite frankly. Rather not do the latter. In the time you said all that, you could have looked at the text. <laughs> well, we're at the bomb now. Oh, well, hold on. Don't Huge wires hang from the ceiling and wells <laughs> everywhere. It's a miracle they haven't fallen in your face yet. You give one a good yank, but nothing happens. If things are connected to something important, they aren't making it obvious. You've got more important things to worry about. You glance at the back of Valentino and the boxes. Looks like he pulls out his silver spinny pen. He puts a few rotations before whiffing and almost dropping it. <laughs> Damn, guess breaking his mani really does throw him off. You snicker. At least he doesn't look upset. He just goes up back to idly spinning, hit the pen between his fingers. You look back at Ridley in Nevada. Their smiles are warm when you make eye contact. You look over the cement mixer. Erica is still crouched in front of it. A small smile on her face as she idly traces a finger around its rim. She's gonna stick her head in there. You look at the yeah. hammer in the seat. You tend to just smash windows and get out of here, but the idea is stupid. You just die from space suffocation like an idiot. Hi, okay. cat. Like at the end of the game. Hi, cat. This is, this is right at the end. If you don't want to be spoiled for Project Beefer, which is a free game you can download on Itchio right now. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like literally, if it was that short, I'd be like, okay. I thought it was like, going to be like more like full long conversations, like the previous one, just second of them. I did, yeah. I didn't know, but now that it's short, I'm like okay, yeah. Look at the three cards your friends gave you. It's do or die. And quite frankly, okay. rather not do the latter. With a stutter, deep inhale, you're ready to deactivate this thing. Puzzles. Oh, ah, uh, you can also scroll. I feel yeah. You uh. The wires, if you fuck up, you fuck up. You fuck up. But if you exit, you can save and come, you can save and it keeps it, yeah. keeps your progress. <sighs> also, uh, click the light panels or read the instructions before um, doing things. Click the light panels in the correct pattern and then click on the wires to cut them. Use the reset button to turn off all the lights. That sort of light puzzle. And oh. all your funny card. Ooh. Oh. Fuck, it's one of these puzzles. I'm so bad at these. Didn't see the failed states, so that was actually really funny when I saw the couple the fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Every time you press the light, it lights up. It lights up or turns off all the buttons next to it. God. Oh my god. These puzzles, no. I can't do this. Can you just tell me that? I can't. I, I, can't. I don't remember. I just, I, I just, also don't remember the precise. Oh I, just press, god. I, just press, I just press buttons. I just trialed and error the buttons until I found the common configurations. There, there are hints. Oh yeah, yeah, if you exit, you get a hint. Actually, you can't do this. You push yourself away from the bomb on the floor, put your head in your hands, the sweat on your palms, and the stress of, you know, diffusing a real ass bomb are kind of getting to you. You let out a sigh and drag yourself up, making eye contact with Ridley as you you do. She wants to say something, but you shake your head and walk towards the window. 
I need a minute to think about this. You fiddle with your fingers, anxiously cracking your knuckles until you run out. You know there's that someone's got to use that thing, but it sucks that it has to be you. Maybe if you look over the cards again, it'll help you figure out what to do. Okay, look look at all the cards at once and try to press what they mean. Uh, well, there's certainly three of them, all eight colored dots. You keep your eyes keep flitting between the blue dots in each card. There are different arrangements on the card, but a little overlap. Well, each dot has eight card, eight lights. Oh, dairy fairy, we're really in it now. I think I understand. Uh... Hey. Nope, okay. Um. <laughs> like boss. Oh my god. Randy, Randy, why are you here? I just I wanna ask, why is the yellow one stripey? The yellow one yeah. is stripey. Yeah, why Should have fought this? hard to make consistent writing law. It actually the fact that it was stripey and had orange bits actually yeah. confused me when yeah. I was trying to call the Hi Perp, like, I'm this. fighting for my fucking life in this puzzle. Yeah, I think I died the first time because I did it. Oh, it's both red and it's both red and blue. So I'll do this oh, one. For first. old version of the uh... puzzle. I... Hmm. I... It's also a second hit you can get here. You just gotta choose another option. When it gets this drink or no inside for long, this, this shitty stupid bomb and this shitty stupid situation is really pissing you off. You feel like it's all over. You're never gonna see your cat again and no one's gonna know you died in this stupid train car and you're gonna have to start eating each other and... Flap! They're startled back into reality by the sound of someone hitting the window you're leaning on. Uh, you reel back, clutching your the nose when you spot the dairy fairy plastered to the window. <laughs> I don't have long, my little cat, so listen to me carefully. <laughs> the poor thing's snout is smooshed to the window and all it tries to scream so you can hear him through the glass. Um, you need to think about the colors and the positions and how they interact. You know how you can mix blue and yellow to make green. You just gotta squeak. He's gone, and it's suddenly very quiet on the other side. Mix colors. Yeah. Like. You said blue and yellow to make green. Yeah, but like... It's like you know you know what to do, but you don't know how yeah, to do Yeah, but that's not the No, I don't know problem. what to do. I don't know what to do. That made it even more confusing to me. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Now basically, you want to make the lights match up the colors of the car. So if you want to defuse a blue bomb, for an example, you need a top need the, the first two on the right to light up and the bottom the bottom two on the left and you need it just those to be uh, lit up yeah so don't let yourself get freaked out sir, by it like the lights or anything like that just let yourself figure it out organically you know I don't have organs. Oregon Trail. So like, are they saying like? Oh wait, wait Lucy. Okay, Lucy. Just just so let's click the second button on the right. No. Oh. oh my god. No, like you. It, where the lights were before, you could have diffused the blue wire.
anytime you click uh, a light, the lights that are like along the X and Y axis flip either to on or off. Right? It is obtuse. I'm not saying it isn't. It is it's 11.14 p.m. I'm just gonna need yep. a full yeah, explanation. I can't. My brain is too late for me to process. Nah, like, how to do thing. this? What do you? Yeah. You don't need an explanation. What you need is a walkthrough at this point. Yeah. Like, if this was earlier, like if this was maybe like nine o'clock, I figured we would do this. But because it's gone on later than I thought mm. it would be, it's like okay, I need. I mean, you can always come back to this. <laughs> Uh, if she can figure out positions and you can tell her how to get them. Yeah, that's. I know the positions. I just need to know how to get to each of them. Okay, for blue, mm -hmm. for an easy one, is the third on the left. Yep, third on left, you said. Nope. Yeah, and then the, the, the second on the right. And that's blue. Oh, so now really? you take the blue wire. Because that's all the blue. Okay, and now you. Red I is. I think. I'd assume red is third on the right, second on the left. No, third on the right, second on the left, and that's red. No. Just scroll back. Okay, because there's also purple, which is blue and red. Oh, uh, what the fuck? So you you you're going back to blue. So red is, well, is... That's blue. Yeah, you have done blue. And if you want to exit, you can save without having uh -huh. to redo this wire again if it blows up. Okay. Then yellow. Yeah. Because two colors can make... two Like yellow, yellow and blue make green. Mm-hmm. Which I think if you click third from the right. No, re reset again. Okay. Like third from the right. Oh no, it wouldn't have the lower left corner, never mind. No, that's good. Look, yeah, third from the right and in the top left corner. That's That should be yellow. There you go. Two down. Okay. And then uh, green. purple. I don't know. Yeah. The purple Purple's needs to be just a two on the lower left. But I don't know how to get. that's getting me confused is why is red not these two or uh, these? Because, because because purple is is the combination of blue and red so it it's needs like all to be... it's like yeah anything that would have red in it okay okay i understand now So then green would just have to be this and this? Yeah. Because it's green by itself. Okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. Sure okay, I understand that now, but now it's more just button pressing and being like, fuck, dude, what the fuck? I'm gonna have a save so I can work on it. You know what? 
I will learn the devs to, to backseat me on this. Please help me. Only the devs. Only the devs. Grab an image left. I please, AMGG. I want it so bad. You have no idea how bad I want this. Please, AMGG. I'm so sorry for being bad at this game. I really want it. Oh, no, that doesn't help me. Nope, I need to get purple again. There we go. Oh, well, I accidentally got purple. That's a lot of clicks. Thank you, AMGG. Everybody, thank you, AMGG. Thank you, AMGG. Thank you, AMGG. Reset and click the ones with one once. Bam, bam, bam. And that's yellow, so we got that. Green is a uh, reset. Bam, bam. There we go. Green? Yes, that is all green. Okay. Then red, reset, bam, 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 red, bam, 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 bam. Hey. Thank you, AMGG, I owe you my life. Thank you, Thank you're, you just, you're just a girl, I know, I'm bad at video games, just like girls. You snap the last wire, the lights on the bomb dim the turn off completely. Oh, thank God. Excellent job. Very grateful we didn't explode today. <laughs> Divorce! 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 <laughs> me, me, Divorce. When I the wrong, me when I cut the wrong, pyre, the wrong wire on the bomb. <laughs> Divorce! Uh, oh. I think I might take a break from space ready for you for a while. <laughs> <laughs> you can practically feel a sigh of relief that spreads to the room. To be completely honest here, you didn't think you were going to pull it off. It's a bit late to say, but their, fe their fears of having you solve it weren't unfounded, but... Really, but what were you supposed to do? Just take it? No way. This was solved on pure stubbornness, baby. So, we, we can leave, right? That's it? The relief smiles fade and glances are exchanged. They pause and look up at the door in front of them. No one is sure they should open it. Agnes, you solved it, so you should open it. You know I could the edge of the door. Got it. No pressure. Here it goes. It's time to open the door. Get ready. You're going to open the door. They stare back at you. You're about to do it. Open the door. It's going to open because you opened it. It's going to be really great any second now. Stop stalling and just open it. Right. You steady yourself and try to slide the door open. You've arrived at your divorce station. You've arrived at your destination. It doesn't open? You try again. No dice. What the hell? G huh? B but this is bullshit. You just went through an emotional roller coaster, diffused the goddamn bomb, and the door won't even open. You bang on it a few more times, nothing. Right as you back up to shake out your hand, the door opens ever so slightly. Dear very sweet fo little phone head pops out with a tiny squeak. Just one second, please. I'm indecent. Embarrassing. How embarrassing. <laughs> the door slams shut. They quickly reopens to reveal them. The killer. They walk in the room and shut the door behind them. Congratulations. You've solved the last room. This is the end of my experiment. You should all be very proud. Proud? Hooray. What the hell is their deal? You've expected some big grand reveal, not this incredibly anticlimactic moment. Never seen the person uh, for the first time. You size up the killer. With boots on, they're still just an inch or so taller than you. They have dark, truly unruly hair and a pretty thin build. You thought they'd be much more menacing. Seeing them looking so calm, though, is making you pissed. Furious, even. You glance back at everyone behind you. Most people just look confused. What? What? 
What the fuck? What, what are you talking about? I'd be happy to answer any of you. Are we really in space? I'm in space. We're breathing, obviously not. Like I just said. You know what? I'm sick of this. Can we jump them? <laughs> we could hijack the train ship. Actually, you probably could. Would anyone even be able to pilot it? Well, conduct it. Ask Valentino. He's so amazed. <laughs> what? 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 Why would you put it that way? Suddenly, you hear a loud moo rumble through the speakers. All eyes fall on the butcher, on the killer as they ink a small device from the pockets of the button attached to the top. Can I talk? Can you guys let me fucking talk? I'll rearm the bomb and start over. <laughs> Just watch. <laughs> and you want to get talked over Discord? Call one too many times. Their demeanor has shifted. You've seen them annoyed before, but never like this. Their demeanor makes them look desperate or pathetic despite the bomb threat. Thank. You. To answer your actual questions, no, we are not in space. Damn it! Fuck! <laughs> Nevada stops her feet and huffs good naturedly. Valentino is wearing probably the smuggest grim you've ever seen in your life. What you saw was just some monitors hooked up in front of the windows. Why space? Is it gimmick? Is this really just an escape room? Are we getting pranked? The bomb's just a prank too, right? Oh no, that's a real bomb. You really, Nevada slowly back away after hearing <laughs> that. The killer ignores them and continues. Have any of you ever heard of the Robert's Cave Experiment? Aww. I am. Um, I watched a video essay on it. This researcher took two groups of boys and they turned against each other in a summer camp. And the video was like five hours long, so I don't remember all the details exactly. This is the most excitement you've seen expressed by Erica since he first met her. Exactly. Psychologist Mustafar Sharif actually held a lesser known experiment prior to that at a camp called Middle Grove. He wanted to research an idea called Realistic Conflict Theory. Essentially, exploring inner group conflict, stereotypes, and prejudices. His goal was to prove how easily people could turn on each other and how they'd come together when faced with a larger conflict. Mm -hmm. For this experiment, they took a group of boys and divided them into two groups. They spent time getting to know each other and becoming friends. Neither group was told about the other's existence until later. Once the two groups met, the researchers designed challenges to induce competition against each other. They expected the groups to favor their own and fight with the opposing group, but that didn't happen. Instead, all of the boys became friends and never once fought. This guy's being dudes. The researchers kept trying, using all the tricks in their arsenal. They needed to create that larger conflict at the camp to proceed with their experiment. Of course, that didn't work. The boys quickly realized they were being set up and turned on the researchers instead. That's sweet. A bit unethical, but sweet. They stuck to the guns and found the real common enemy. Oh. Can we talk about the uh. experiment next? Oh. What? You mean the calligraph experiment? I can tell you more after this. Anyway, you, get to the point. Why did you tell us all of that? This is like that summer camp. Most of you would normally never get along with each other. The locked cars serve as the obstacles. Space, puzzles, and your differing personalities serve as the base for interconflict. The threats I oppose to you, that is the main conflict. They're both real? What the fuck? Yeah. This is a real uh, uh, uchikoshi moment. Despite your differences, you've seen past your prejudices and come together in order to find me and escape. You tricked us into becoming friends? For an experiment? You could put it that way. Though trust me, it came with a heavy price. Sure, what do you mean? 
First, let me explain one more thing about our, our location. We are approximately 15 meters underground in an abandoned subway tunnel. I knew it, if not for the stars and the sea. We only have uh, we only have about <laughs> 3,785 meters until we reach the Titanic. I'm sure we're going to get through this thing underwater, though. Guys, it's going to be okay if we find the Logitech controller. We're close. <laughs> 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 Shut the fuck up! Notification. Uh. Putting rest of that aside, that's honestly impressive. We are not underwater. If you could let. Wait, wait, wait. Abandon? How do you even get access to something like that? How are you operating a train underground completely unnoticed? This entire line has been retired for four years. What? I took this line to work last week. <coughs> That's because your last week was six years ago. Aww. Uh... Here it is, the big reveals. Okay, I think I've heard enough. Take it. From his vantage point from the big box, his volunteer stretches and lays back. His eyes are shut tight. Is he taking a nap right now? <laughs> awesome. Oh, so time travel is that now, is it? Uh huh. If time travel is real, Donna Summers would have gone back to marry Frank Valley so he can have all four seasons. I don't know this reference. Neither do I. Uh, uh hold on. Um. You don't have to look up the reference. <laughs> I'm looking up the reference. Donna Summers. Donna Summers. Uh, I thought. Oh, Summers. I'm guessing that he married a, a Winters, Autumn, or something. Okay. Or something. Donna Summers uh -huh. was a songwriter. Huh. Okay. Frankie Valley. Frankie. Frankie Valley is an American singer. Whoa. Well, Bob's facetta voice. He did Frankie Valley Four Seasons.com. Oh. Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. I get it. Uh. <laughs> You're pretty sure it's reference to somebody. You have no clue what. I spent half on I try to prove that at some point in a cabbage is a bug in five minutes. No, that's great actually, I'm fine. So cool, I'm so great, man. Yeah. Time travel is possible, but not space or a working subway tunnel? Ellipses. I spent all my budget on the time travel part. <laughs> <laughs> Ellipses. Okay. <laughs> they slumps down to one of those seats, both she and a bottle of defeated. Valentino's asleep. <laughs> but Envy and Erica is sitting on the floor. You're just staying there limply. A long winded tangent would do that to you, I guess. Okay. Assuming now you're not lying, how are we supposed to get back? I don't see a time machine laying around anywhere. We're standing in it. Wh <laughs> You're taking the room again. There are wires dangling from the ceiling and junk scattered all over the floor. <laughs> but it looks like it's falling apart, really. It's just this front car. The rest of the train isn't actually directly attached. Animation. Rule 1 is always standing still. The hub car is in a giant 180 turntable. Allowing you to move from point A to point B and into room 2. Room 2 is also on a turntable, turning you back around to the hub car. Finally, the hub car spins around one last time to deposit you here. It was designed to loop forever. The time machine was the easy part, honestly. The turntables spin forever, charging this last car. With enough momentum, I can slingshot myself into different timelines. I see. I see. 
Why spend so much time like, sure, making it whatever, so dude. sustaining? Why <laughs> not just don't worry about it. drive it yourself? There we go. Just like me for real. Just like me for, for real. For real. Right. This is making your head spin. There's no way any of this is real. Why time travel? Why a train? Why cows? And why you all the strangers? <laughs> Lucy the Lucy the killer. That's who went. Wendy Williams is actually afraid of me. Yeah. There's so much you want to keep asking, but your energy is running low. You watch as the butcher keeps talking almost completely to themselves. The rest of the gloved hand on the window. She's got some wear and tear. I've done this a good couple of times. The experiment. You're almost too afraid to ask. Uh, uh, how many? The next one will be 700. If I don't succeed, succeed by then, I'll just let myself fade into time. But this experiment is too important to me. You put the mask on, the butcher looks tired. Everyone's tired. You don't notice it until now, but your body feels heavy. Like you've been tossed around over and over and over like a rag doll. Uh, do we see the, the the killer without the mask on? I'm, 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 I'm asking for no reason. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I guess you need to figure it out. Uh, does that mean you've done this nearly 700 times? I think you remember something like that, but you suddenly hear the butcher mumbling something behind their mask. God, the things I've done for you, Agnes. M me? Yes, you. You're the reason I even began this experiment. What? Why? Why me? Who even are you? Do you hate me that much? I, I don't even know you. Ridley suddenly speaks up. She's resting her head on Nevada's shoulder. Well, if this is all for Agnes, why are we all involved? Lucy, don't look in chat. Too late. Yeah, we only just met. Unless she's secretly related to the mob. I don't leave my house. <laughs> Valentino rolls onto his stomach and props his elbows in front of him, lazily kicking his legs behind him. I think I remember someone like that. You wrinkle your nose at him. Oh, you know what I meant. Grow up. You all know her very well. Well, very well may be an overstatement. What? I don't remember meeting any of these people before. You're, you're bluffing. You're bluffing. Of course you don't. Stop being cryptic! Answer me! What the, the hell are you talking about? I'll be asking some questions now. What was the last thing you all remember doing before you found yourselves here? Overalls, you first. The butcher is looking at Ridley. Me? I think I was clocking out of my shift at the cafe and locking up for the night. I don't remember anything past that. And I was at home making my fetish chili. Chilaquiles. Oh, I'd love to try those. That sounds delicious. I don't leave my house. Right. And you, Nails? And Valentin looks away, mumbles something under his breath, and suddenly looks very interested in his right hand. Huh? I said I was getting my nails done. <laughs> he crosses his arms and keeps looking away. Is he embarrassed? Oh my god. Your stupid nickname. <laughs> Despite all, you choke back a laugh. Maybe your nickname you came up with wasn't something too stupid as soon as scared as the butcher is using it too. Well, maybe it was. The butcher isn't that cool. You decide to stop thinking about it. How about you, Agnes? Remember anything? 
Do you remember anything? Now that I have the time to think about it, you just kind of assumed everyone had fuzzy memories. It goes hand in hand with a situation like this, right? But actually, you barely remember anything before today, or yesterday, or the day before that. You're positive you have an uninteresting life, spending your days in bed scrolling through your phone and feeling sorry for yourself. That seems like something you'd do. You know your name, at least. You picked it out yourself. <gasps> Let's go! Tra 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 transition to my new gender. Other than that, nope, nothing. Everything else feels like a blur. <clears throat> no, I, I don't. Right. That's something we experts call amnesia. Whoa. Really? The killer puts their hand on the back of the detonator and Valentina raises his hand mockingly. I'll do it. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really gonna do it this time. I'm gonna do this it. This time, I'm really gonna do it. Damn. Okay, damn. Touchy. Nevada has a, dis has a disguise of laugh as a cough. <laughs> the, the killer puts the detonator back in their pocket, takes a deep breath, and turns back to the rest of you, right as they open their mouth. Oh, I don't want to get injected. No fair. That doesn't even make sense. That reminds me, have you heard about Big Halloween injecting cocaine into eggplants? They're turning them into pumpkins. What? <laughs> oh, Nevada. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, yeah. No, hon, she's talking about the amnesia. Oh. oh then. then, yeah, that's that's not fair. Okay, so what if I have amnesia? These people have clearly never met me. Can you give me a straight answer? No, I'm gonna no. keep asking. I'm going to keep asking questions, okay? No, not okay. Fur coat. What's your apartment's address? The killer points to Erica. She looks up vaguely. <gasps> your home address. Brock's your address. She tilts her head to one side. Where you live. She adjusts the front of her dress. Docks yourself. <laughs> 612 Clarabella Boulevard, apartment B3. Don't give out that information so easily. You're so distracted by that beautiful moment. It takes you a second to register what she just said. 612 Clarabelle Street Boulevard. Oh, that's another Homestuck number. Come on. Is it really? Come on. I think so. <sighs> you, just pop you, into can, your head. You, can, you can smell the stink of Perp's uh, hands all over this project. Yeah, there it is. Oh my god. Fucking you see an apartment, stuff. the row... The road along it is lined with big trees. That was Randy. <laughs> you that was Randy. My. What the fuck? You made, you made the Homestuck line. You made the Homestuck number. I literally wrote no lines on this game. You. You you literally just slandered her for no reason. Yeah. You just slandered perp for no reason. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's the thing that we do sometimes. Uh, uh, she uh, treats me uh, like an object, and I uh, slander. You actually like, libel also. Gripped you like gripped her chin, dragged her through the mud, and Perp was just and Randy literally came out and was like, "Is it a bad time to tell you that 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 it's that she's not the killer?" Mm -hmm. Hashtag mad. Yeah. All of a sudden, you recall losing your keys the very first day you moved in and profusely apologizing to your landlord. Remember your cat, Charlie. Oh no! Is Charlie? It's been seven years. Is Charlie okay? Charlie is dead. No! No, uh, Charlie! It's, it's, okay, it's okay. He's um he's now um he's now Scaramouche and Genshin Impact. Oh. Uh, who Charlie's stuck out the fire escape and came back with a dead fish the next day. Weird one though. Oh Charlie. my god! I just now realized that this is. Oh my god! Of yeah. Of course, what? this is a reference to Cafe Kaka. Yeah, it's a reference to Cafe Kaka. Oh, I'm so. Oh my god. Gaming. You remember oh, rushing up the stairs every day to avoid running in the cool, mysterious girl who moved in across from you. You were waiting behind your door and looking at the people every time you saw her leave the house. 
and your reputation remains sparkling shiny. Bitch, you good? created her. <laughs> okay, is that so wrong? The fucking cup. <laughs> is, wait, did Perp actually make the cup? Yes. No, I thought it was, thought it was you, Robbie who why? made the cup. What do you mean you didn't? I thought Robbie made the cup. Perp did. Oh, Perp, weren't you? Perp, weren't you the one who made an OC based on that cup? A lot of people in the community made an OC based on the cup. Uh -huh. Good they, heavens! <laughs> everyone did. And read up on your lore. I'm not gonna read up on fucking Robbie Dude lore. <laughs> <laughs> Horrendous. You Horrendous. literally keep making Horrible. a per perpetual reality lore, and it's, it's like how I keep on making lore for Tetra Minus. Archer is in in their room <laughs> with with a, like a with red string and pictures, like <laughs> figuring out what the, what's on the <laughs> No, I gotta talk about the lame. I gotta talk. I got. I gotta talk about. The, I, we gotta talk about the mail. Let me talk about the mail, okay? He's a bit dying to talk to no, I haven't been asleep. I just don't give a shit about like I... uh, a lot of stuff, honestly. Speaking I just miss out on a lot of it. I showed I showed Damien that uh, episode of It's Always Sunny recently. It's one of the few episodes I've shown him. I think he liked it. I showed him that Mac and Charlie moved to the suburbs, and um, what was the other one? That the other one that oh yeah, the other one was was like the stakeout one where they thought some guy was like where they're, they're trying to make, think of money to steal gas <laughs> and they thought some guy was there was like a terrorist living in their apartment building uh very good episode anyways each day you you would convince yourself she you hate yeah. you trying to make us feel better about it all how'd you forget yeah yeah oh and the quarantine one yes <laughs> The killer. Overalls. That cafe you mentioned earlier. Which one is it? Wait a minute. Ran. Uh, whatever. Oh, actually, I work at the Slow Roast a couple blocks from Erica's street. How have I never seen you? Ridley turns to Erica, who's pulling at the front of her dress. I like my coffee like I like my women. In a cup. You don't have to be cows at home anyway. <laughs> What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? What does this mean? It means she likes a woman like a coffee in a cup. This is so fucking funny, this absolute nonsense line. Golf. <laughs> oh, she just refuses to make any sense whatsoever and uh, I'm so tired right on. now, girl me too. Girl me too. <laughs> Hold on, the, the slow roast? The slow roast? It's been within walking distance from your apartment. The rare days you left your apartment, you always pull up a chair at the very back of the cafe. Didn't go any often, but you'd always get, get the same, same order every time. A nice mocha and a pistachio muffin. Your order I had on your phone so you wouldn't have to talk to the peppy baristas at the counter. Nothing against them, they were just, they dressed well and always knew what to say. Unlike you, it's hard not to be jealous. Here he is. In the back, you'd watch one of the cashiers left every time their partner came to visit. Their partner's choice of closing and topics are very odd, but the way they made her laugh was something agonizing to watch. Can you press H really quick? It's like hide the... Is it... Yeah! Let me see oh that my thing. god. Oh. I love these new CGs. They're really good. Oh, these are these weren't there before? Yeah, they no, weren't there weren't. when I first played. Oh, neat. I'm sleeping. I'm These are part of the 1.2 release, I think. Aha, I see. She was beautiful, mm. hardworking, smart, characteristic, the worst of all kind. Nauseatingly so. Times you ever spoke of her. Spoke to her. You tasted bile. I got it. I got it. Got it? You got it. Opening bottle. Obtain bottle. Uh, I need drink. He smiled at you and complimented your band shirts. 
She probably didn't even listen to the music. She probably acted this way with everyone. You're probably a fake fan. You avoid her ever <laughs> since. You hope she's forgotten about you by now. You wanted to forget about her and her stupid partner forever. Clearly you'd gotten your wish. Nails, pop quiz. Where did you go to high school? Valentino sighs, clearly out of patience for the killer's games. Strangely, I'm not in the moon for trivia. Whatever, I'll spoil it. You tune them out, you already know the answer. Valentino, he was your friend throughout senior year of high school. Your only friend, nerdy but outspoken, sweet but blunt. He got in debates with people regularly and was the top student. <laughs> it made him an easy target for bullies, which in turn gave you a steadfast ally. <gasps> Sniffles! Sniffles! <laughs> you read manga no. in the library during several past crew notes in class. He taught you how to mend a tear in your skirt after a bully pushed you into the bushes. He probably was one of the people, only people you ever talked to, but you only got to know him for a year. After graduation, he went to live with some family in Japan and enrolled in university over there. Try to keep up with him on social media, but it's not really your thing. You're kind of the gray default icon and no bio. You watch as he changed styles, made new friends, and amassed a sizable following almost overnight. One late night after stalking his page on your phone, you realize he blocked you. It's stun. Neither of you had reached out in years. He probably thinks you're dead weight now. He's clearly having fun with his new life and his new friends while you're back home seething. Your blood boils. You never want to see him again. You stew over it through college and eventually you graduate. You're back to zero. Alone. No friends. No social skills. There's nothing you can do about it. At least, nothing you want to do. You look up at him. He's still kicking his feet lackadaisically. Even though you remember now. You can't fully hate him. Above all, you just... Missed him. The first and only real friend you ever had. You... You don't remember me, huh? From where exactly? You taught me how to sew. I <laughs> sat behind you in geometry. That, that kind of the only person who behind class was that dork in. Hmm. You can't even get genuinely mad because it's honestly very funny to watch him connect the dots in real time. Ah. I am so sorry. You walk over to swat at him and he shields his face. Hey, hey! I'm sorry, it's been a while. I don't have my contacts in. Lovely to see you again. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Great. Thank you very much. You keep swatting him but stop when the killer suddenly places their hand on your shoulder. You jump. Your vision gets blurred for a second, but it stops. At least they seem to like you now. Isn't that nice, Agnes? I am so... So sorry. I usually remember my regulars, but I serve a lot of people every day and work at like four different places and... It's fine. It wasn't. Not really, but you do your best to put that aside for a minute. I can hear my neighbors through the walls. I don't need to meet them. You're... You're feeling everything everywhere all at once right now. You're exhausted, <laughs> nauseous, dizzy, and above all, pissed the hell off. All these people you thought were strangers knew you the entire time. Rather, you knew them, but... You were so insignificant they couldn't even recognize you after seeing you multiple times. To most of your adult life desperately wishing how you could forget they existed. Now that you have, you don't know how to feel. After all, you obsessed over the people you imagined them to be. They're so much different than what you imagined. 
I want to consider them friends, but now, but you could just disappear? We start? Let the bomb go off? Oh, you could never let the dairy fairy suffer that kind of fate. Clearly you're delirious. You need to get out of here. You stumble towards the killer in a daze, your vision whiting out the edges. There's one last detail they've kept hidden. You intend to get it before you pass out. Who the fuck are you? I can't tell you that. Oh, you can't tell me. Why the fuck not? You know everything about me? You're from the future. So this crazy thing for my sake, so give me the goddamn answer or I'll swear I'll... Agnes, calm down. You don't want their opinion to change. The killer inclines their head towards the group behind you. Your horse yelling woke them a bit more. They're looking at you with concern. Who's we? Leave me out of your... Agnes, let's take their offer and get out of here. Yeah, I can leave Alien slash Titanic slash Time Travel slash etc. Discovery for another day. What? That's the anime that she wanted to watch Triple before. D oh, okay. Triple D BBU. Please, I need this. Valentina slides off the big boxes, stands and pats her on his sides. Ugh, one of my charms fell off too. Clearly nobody's gonna help you. It's up, like it's up to you. Again, you lunge at the killer and grab for their mask. At least you think you did. It all happened so fast. Just by a couple inches, grab their apron and fall forward, dragging you onto the on the ground with you. The room is spinning. You feel something shift next to you. You hear gas behind you. It takes me to stand and readjust your vision, but you kind of wish you hadn't. In front of you, the last thing you expected to see. It's the killer. They're taller than you. Dark, unruly hair. Thin frame. The face under the mask is... That's what the mask is. And I'm in a man of masking. It's another line. But I don't care to remember it. Bro. We beefed it. You're... No. What? How is this? He sounds exhausted. You sound exhausted. Her voice is straining. Her eyes are sunken. You see green roots growing on the top of the hair. You see stars at the edge of your vision. It was you the whole time. Um. Anyways... Smiles. Smiles. I told you, I'm, the f I'm from the future, right? I'm sure you get it now. I got fed up with the life we were living. No friends, no stable job. All we had was our cats and the occasional phone call back home. Being Agnes is lonely. After so long, it became obvious. It wasn't just everyone else's fault we had no friends. You think you know where this is going? No. It was the world's. Never mind. Jesus, is that what you sound like when you get like that? <laughs> oh god. I was always at a disadvantage. Nothing is ever easy like it is for everyone else. Nothing I did could make them like me. Nothing about me was even remotely appealing. Unless... You see glint in her eye, and she laughs. Cackles, actually. It's unbelievably lame. Unless I put myself in a position where they couldn't ignore me. But I knew it was too late for me. That's why you're here, Agnes. This is all for you. This was to create the perfect heroine before I spiral into an eternity of loneliness. <laughs> literally, this is literally me when I watch the fucking Saw movies. I'm just like, oh my god, bestie, just calm down. 
you're inclined to agree, but that's technically you he's talking about. You should probably at least act a little bit offended. The killer continues her monologue before you can decide. Don't you see? You formed a bond with these people. When faced with danger, you let them all to the end. You've defeated the villain and saved your new friends. It worked perfect. I've never gone this far. I usually restart the second they start fighting with you, but I wanted to see it to the end this time. I told myself it would over. It would over after it would be over. Oh, I have somebody got fired for this. Come on. I told myself it would be over after 700. Done this hundreds of times. <laughs> you know, 700. You slingshot you in space and time and injected you with amnesia and wiped your memories over and over and over. Who knows how many times you've gone through the same heartbreak? Or worse, how many times have any of you died here? Um. You suddenly hear Erica speak up. She's still sitting on the floor behind you. So, you're trapped here so we could force be friends with your younger self? You also trapped here? Exactly. I wonder her to at least have the potential for a happy future. At any cost. Right, um... So, that sucks. That sucks really bad. I don't think I like you very much. Agnes? <laughs> he turns to you this time. Looks like a pains her to say this. I'm like, really conflicted about you now. Aww. You scan the group. Everyone looks... Looks on their faces might haunt you. You see something else behind their eyes. Disgust? Hatred? It doesn't matter. You, a different version of you, have fucked up your singular chance at half your life. I did this for you, huh? Uh. No sane person would ever do something like this to anyone, much less themselves. She's insane. You're insane. The whole situation is insane. He wanted to end. You feel something warm in your hand. Oh. The killer has her hand clasped onto yours. She slips the detonator in your hand and squeezes. Uh oh. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not the world flashes white. Dead. Time is strange. A guy dressed up like a brass doll wakes you up. You force your way through the puzzles, you break out of full of plants and escape. You're a conspiracy theorist, a high energy puzzle solver, and a mysterious girl. There's a cow and a vending machine and a beautiful cup. You force yourself through these puzzles too, you break out of this room and escape. You fight, you break ties, you mend them. You remember a manicured hand guiding you as you push a, a needle through fabric. Past, future, present. You're in the present. Look at the three cards your friends gave you. It's do or die, and quite frankly, rather not do the latter. Let's sit her deep until you're ready to deactivate this. The, 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 this is different. Huh? You feel lightheaded again. Or rather suddenly you weren't like that. Of, what the fuck? You die, but it's okay. Glasses, are you listening? He snaps his fingers at you like a dog. This guy. Yeah, I. Oh, it's just. Ugh. The bomb. You're about to f defuse the bomb and open the last door. For some reason, you don't want to do. You really don't want to do that. Rather much barrel out of a window. Right now. The window. The window. Wait, the window! Hmm? What about it? Oh, I get it. A clue's actually outside in space. Uh, 
tell yourself the wires that correspond to red shift and blue shift. I am listening to a podcast about it once. <laughs> Object that a faraway space move away from us faster. Hang on, I don't see how this really. You have no idea what they're talking about. You turn around and grab a hammer from one of the chairs and storm to the window at the end of the car. Everyone move out of the way, I'm breaking the fucking window. What? Tell us Orbit is going to suck the blood out through our noses. You can't. That'll happen in all space, not just tell us space. Also be all orifices and all the fluids. I know where this is going to be going. Erica, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone give a hand to Eric. Don't give a hand to yeah. Eric. Don't do that. Don't, don't give her don't give her your hand. She's gonna do weird things. Don't give it. her your hand. Don't give her your hand. She's not clean. Agnes, please think about this. Listen, I think you're really cool, but as much as I want to support you, I also um hate dying. Yeah, you feel in a way that's endearing. But dying in space is like come on. You fail in a way that isn't theory. Right? That's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I need to some JFK, <laughs> Is he your favorite character on Clone High? What do you mean he was a president? <laughs> What's a president? It's okay, Nevada. A precedent is what happens before that establishes to something that will occur later, I think. I don't care. I don't no. care. We're not a space. <laughs> Nevada voices head just did that. <laughs> We're not in space. It doesn't matter. We're going out of here. Here, everyone's begging to reconsider or stop or to think for a minute. Your head pounds. God. Nevada voice. <laughs> and I need you for to 9 11. <laughs> Hold it. Let's hear her out. Everyone turns to Valentino. Looks straight at you, one arm uh, thrown in front of you. His expression calm, or at least a little less smug than usual. What makes you think we aren't in space right now? Every evidence to back your claim up? It's not really a good time to pull the smart guy card on me. Ah, doing shrugs at you. Can I gotta be curious? A moment ago you were ready to sound this bomb, and now you're suddenly convinced otherwise? Out with it. He's right. Unfortunately, you did have a very sudden change of heart at the last moment, but... Why? You can barely fathom it yourself. It's as if the truth somehow just got beamed to you, but not all of it. You just know. I... I don't know. I don't know why. Um... We're... Still breathing? In space? That's weird. You avert your eyes and grimace shake. In your defense, he put you on the spot. Fair enough. Let 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 her at it. Ridley. What? There's no way we're even we're in space. I just don't want to start any fights since you all seem so convinced. I trust her, and I trust my knowledge. Don't you? Valentino. I'm sure. Unless I'm lying. Wink. <sighs> no one found that funny. Valentino admit it. It takes, his, it takes a minute to fix his hair using the reflection in the window. He looks back at you once more, determination in his eyes. Do it. Do it. You're all scared, but there's a warmth in everyone's expressions. They trust you. They're scared, but they trust you. If they're lies, even. They've trusted you to solve every puzzle up till now. This has to count for something, right? You try to nod and smile reassuringly at them before raising your hand and smashing the window with a hammer. Yo, this is just like prey. Yeah. 
so I'm pretty sure this is the kill. Seven hundred success. No sound effects. You wake up on the floor again. Ugh. I gotta get used to waking you up, huh? 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 Whoa, uh, what? Chit. Get your mind out of the gutter. Come on. You weren't even thinking? He pulls you up roughly, turns around and sprints towards the front of the train car, leaving a lingering scent of hibiscus and embarrassment in his wake. The train is moving. The car even looks like the third room, but normal? It's undecorated and newer looking. You see a Ridley, Nevada, and Erica waiting for the doors by the end. There's no hole in the tunnel or any space. Just a long, long tunnel. Is that a rat? Is that a fucking rat? You take a closer peek. Yeah, that was definitely a rat. Now arriving at June Station. The train creaks to if a I stop. If I put you in a meat grinder and your eyeball fell out, you'd probably be dead. <laughs> The noise you the noise makes you grimace shake. Ridley covers her ears. Shut up! No. <laughs> the side the double doors Shut open up. outside is just a normal station? Everyone else steps off the car and regroups near the exit. You linger by the door and keep looking around. It's a normal train at a normal station, but the front car is missing. Why isn't there a front car on this train and Where's the killer? Or the sweet little wood dairy fairy? You ever find out what's going on or how you got there? You feel like you should know, but it's just out of reach. Like something you learned a long time ago. Fuck it. You worry about that later. Look at the big clock on the wall and see that it's just a few minutes past midnight. You have no clue what day it is, but everything does look vaguely familiar. And you're not alone. That's the ending. <laughs> Ridley Nerva. Uh, and Valentina are chatting the distance with Erica standing between them. Erica says something and suddenly the group erupts into boisterous laughter, the kind that bounces off the walls, the kind you used to hate. It's not so bad, now that you're closer up. Erica looks around, bewildered, and Valentina pulls out a sticker gem with a dramatic flourish and gives it to her. She places it on her cleavage and sinks down into the floor. <gasps> oh, she's had the star on the entire time! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You touch the gems on your own cheek and feel warm head to hot toe. So, uh, they all look at you. What should you say? You don't think you could go home for 10, none of this happened. Not after everything, you kind of just really want to just sit down and spend time with these people a little more. The idea of saying your thoughts out loud is daunting. You test the words out, rolling them around in your mouth before you open it. You got the best ending gold star and cup. Are there different endings to this game? I don't know. Uh, I actually don't know that either. You take a deep breath I, in. I... The ball is in your core, as people say. People actually say that, right? Here, get distracted. Ask them to hang out. Maybe at a park or some late night diner. You guys, uh, want to hang out, nerd? Or something? Technically, yes. What do you mean? What do you mean? Okay. What do you mean? I, I played I play through it twice, and uh, one time I clicked the cup, the other time I didn't click the cup. Yeah, that's and fair the, enough. The, the main difference is the, the cup's there. Oh, the cup's there. <laughs> the wife is there. You brace yourself for impact. Wait for the sting of rejection. It's fine. You'll live. The first one to respond was Nevada, who let out a hearty laugh. You cringe in anticipation. Uh, I'd love to. I feel like I need to pick... I, I need to pick your brain about some things. A strong opinion these days is a rare, is rare to find. You can walk home after. I know where you live. Deep down your heart, you know, you believe in her. She did not mean for that to come off the way it did. In fact, if you squint, you can see some minuscule flinch across her face. You suppress a giddy smile. At least someone here gets it. Is there anywhere even open around the cell? Let's try. Try it before we knock. Try it before we knock it anyways. It's possible to not get the star? How? I don't know. I always got the star. As he says that, Valentino pulls out a pen and scribbles his phone number on your arm. 
And his handwriting is messy as it was four years ago. Actually, did he do this to everyone else too? He prints like that didn't just happen. Everyone looks unfazed. You hope this means he'll unblock you now. Maybe I could. Really taps her chin thoughtfully and feels around her pockets. He pulls out a very decked out keyring full of characters and toys. Would you guys be down for a midnight trip to a coffee shop? I could let you guys into the cafe if you promise not to tell anyone, of course. She winks and Nevada laughs, gives her a and Nevada laughs, gives her a kiss on the cheek. Is Is that a typo or am I insane? Gives her a kiss. No, Nevada laughs, gives her a kiss on the cheek. Oh, there should be like a and laughs and gives her a kiss on the cheek. Fine. Like at the like, end uh, laughs or the, giving the, her yeah, an and there. Yeah, it needs, a and, it needs an and. It needs an like. It needs an and or <laughs> zero out of ten. Um, like there's a comma. I feel like it, that's fine. They're kind yeah, of. It doesn't flow right though. <laughs> that, that's just prose. You're crazy. <laughs> and they're kind of sweet from up close. Everyone is. I regret not giving them a chance sooner. The past is the past. Now is the present. And the present is a very warm night. Let's go then. You give everyone a hesitant smile. They smile back at you. That's the game. The end. the end. Rest in peace, Dairy Fairy. I missed the Dairy Fairy with my entire life. Hey guys, why? I'll be oh. here with you. Credits. For all yes. time. You gotta do credits specifically. Uh, probably be for a stream code made by game team stream staff, Casita Mono, director, producer, character design, 2D asset, uh, perpetual reality, producer, 2D art and narrative generalist, UI, UX design programming, AMGG programming, uh, Chaz, narrative, writing, editing, and proofreading, Kuma. Character design, 2 year cleanup, puzzle design, writing, pure narrative, writing, Ren, narrative, puzzle design, and writing, blue, character art, line art, and coloring, fishy artist, background, composting, Jillian C, character art, concept art, and roughs, uh, 2D, uh, generalist, uh, Isaac Schultz, music, oh! No, why? Uh, the way when you see uh, the bankers, uh, yeah. Yeah, they've been in chat this entire time, apparently. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, thank you for stopping by. Uh, Joe Brett, sound effects, assets used, all these assets, oh, subscribers, all these fucking subscribers, me. special Look thanks to the username, Jake Camera, Benegas, Mega Sketches, and Randy's Boss for moral support. Thank you to all our friends and everyone who watched the streams that support us and drummed up hype for the project, and thank you, the player. You. And that's Project B4. That. Man. Yeah. I'm just gonna say this again now that everyone. I don't wanna say everyone who worked on the game is here, but a lot of people worked on the game are here, and I didn't see this beginning. Um, I. I Especially now that it's a lot of my friends who made the game, and a lot of my friends are here. I am not only so impressed that you all made a game within this short of a time span but you made a game that was this fucking good in that short of a time span that was so fucking good i loved the characters i loved the narrative the visual design and stuff was phenomenal the only tough shit that i had was just the fact that it's dumb and it's late but you <laughs> every single person who was here from character design to writing to music to ui design as much as all the goofs that i had um and all that you guys knocked it out of the park and I'm not just saying that because you're my friends and I care about you a lot. I'm saying that genuinely as someone who is a fan of you guys and a fan of the game that you made. It was completely wonderful. I'm actually crying. I don't know why. Um, 
I'm just, I'm so proud that my friends made something and it was this amazing and it resonated with me really strongly um emotionally a lot of some of the agonists resonated really emotionally with me and i i'm so happy that this game exists and that you all decided to make this game and once again you made it within as short of a fucking time span as you did holy moly i can't i can't believe i'm so lucky to be friends with such talented people with the fact that you can warp up something like this within just a couple of weeks holy shit um incredible game incredible game incredible everything i loved it so very much um also randy posted images in the thing and i need to put these in um first off we have this <laughs> he's maybe he's a chill guy <laughs> um, awesome awesome so awesome uh we have this rainy just sent me a ton of fucking shit uh we have this which is <laughs> this is adorable yeah um, this is so adorable um hey, is what this are you uh, I'm, I'm, and then, uh, is this them, uh, in, like, high school and shit? Actually, see, yeah. as for no pickles, I literally asked for pickles, what's this guy's problem? He's gonna eat a burger now. Late 19, so there's one in 83, I too! That, I think that they're watching Germa, I don't know for a fact. He's gonna eat a burger now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so silly. Um... There's a lot more. Uh, I'm gonna play the videos last. I'm gonna have to open those up in a browser. These I can just drag and drop into OBS. Um, <laughs> I'm going to your house. You don't know the code. Yeah, I do. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. night, my hungry ass is gonna be a brain <laughs> What do you mean? Never what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? <laughs> have you have hours of listening to the Guitar Hero soundtrack? Three soundtrack this morning. You're just listening to music. Those are just songs. <laughs> Damn girl, you're a construction worker because you're building. Building? <laughs> The fuck does that mean? Mind your own business. <laughs> oh, these are all so good. Oh, these are all incredible. There are two more, and then there's two videos. Um, I did not approve tomfoolery in my dash. I open a book and start reading. Sounds, Sounds great. Good. Let me just see what I've got on my bookshelf. Wow, looks interesting. I wonder if I could learn anything from it. What happens at your disposal? What are you impish clown? <laughs> Yo, hey, could I see past your facade? Facade. I'll believe your shit, I don't mean bitch. Your shit, bitch. <laughs> Uh, there are two videos, and then also I think <laughs> Jay said he drew Nevada, so I kind of want to pull that up. He drew Nevada. Your facade. Uh, ripped. Catboy. I don't know if I can... Can I show these on Twitch? They're not that... They're not, they're not that bad, but they are just very, very gay. Um, are they female presenting nipples? No. <laughs> then you're, I think you're fine. Kuma, you should post everything. You should post everything. Show all your stuff. Yep. This game rules. I am, uh... Uh, Kuma, not Kuma, uh, Jill sent me... 
One last thing. Another, another thing. They got top surgery. Swag. Swag. I do not need a scissor. I do not need a knife. I do not need a hammer, a saw, or a screwdriver. All I ever need, my dear, are the temporary tools right here. AKA my fingies, my fingers. Please, will you help me open this bag? <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> awesome. Um. Anyways, window capture. Um. No, not dis. Not the fucking Discord. Not my Discord, dude. Not my fucking Discord, Discord. dude. Um. Oh my god. Anyways. The fucking commander. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, he went this way. And then he went he made that way. if he was cool. And then he <laughs> went this way. And then I go this way. And then I go that way. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait did it happen? Did you just trust the guy? <laughs> what? Yeah. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, open that one and then this one. Well, whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm used to it. It's a shitty idea. It's like Patrick Bateman, for real. I may sound like I'm like this bored or like voice pissed claims. off, but the truth is I'm just vibing. Shut up! Yeah. Well, whatever. I don't really no, yeah. care. No, 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 no. I'm used to it. It's a shitty idea. It's like Patrick Bateman, for real. I'm who? Can you can you can you explain to me who these voice cams are? Like, tell me who these are, because I I. <laughs> Like, um, uh, Randy, Amanda C. Miller. What has Amanda C. Miller done that I would have known? That what I would know. Dingus, dingus. And, uh, Toko Fukawawa. Ah. Fukawa. Okay. Let's see what else is it? Okay. She was in solely in Fire Emblem. Okay. Yunko. Um, ah, Yunko. Yunko. Also, Jackass in Nier Tower. Awesome. Toko's great. Fallout 76? It may sound like I'm like bored Listen. or like pissed off, but the, the truth is I'm just vibing. The shut up! Job. Shut the fuck up! Ah! Okay, <laughs> and I will win today's match. Hey yo, I'm Tomo. His assistant right next to him dropped dead from pain. So back in the day, jingle, 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 back in the day, before the back rooms were a thing. Okay. Oh my pay, God, that is jingle, pay attention. Pay attention. I said your favorite word. The back rooms. Okay. The back rooms. Dingle, dangle, dingle, dangle. My, I'm famous for. Going into a McDonald's in a very dangerous neighborhood, uh, dressed as a chicken, and I had a bunch of little kids that were also dressed in chickens. And hey, Lucy, do you um, want to hear this something isn't insane? like a funny story, but I just asked oh, no. the I? woman at the counter if this I could have a twenty-piece uh, human uh, McNugget. Yeah. Uh, is that Amy Schumer. Yeah, I'll tell you. It's honestly so bizarre that I have a friend who like. At one point, was a personal, like, acquaintance of Markiplier. Apparently, Whoa. he's kind of a shithead. No! Damn. Yeah. I'm not, uh, unfortunately. Oh, that's Aubrey Plaza? I, that's Aubrey Plaza? Uh, dress as a chicken. And I had a bunch of little that kids that were also Plaza. dressed in okay. chickens. And um, this isn't like a funny story. No, but I bring I just that up because uh, I just uh, I intended to make fun of Markiplier on every opportunity that I get. You know. But That's hello, true. everybody. His name is Markiplier. Hello, oh, everybody. My name is Markiplier. I'm the king of night fights at Freddy's. 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 Anyways, I guess I will pull up Mr. Catboy's fucking art. Um. Oh, welcome to X X. So he is fully, just went. He fully went fucking gay mode for this dude. Oh hell yeah! Nevada. 
I support it. Why is Oni plays trending? I don't want to know. I'm closing Twitter. That's fair. I know why, but I, I don't want to know Pro why. Hello, Project Beefer! Hooray! Project Beefer! It's free! Free. Uh, uh, Give anyways, money to everyone who, made, who worked on it so they can make this, Project Beefer 2. Yeah, this was fucking incredible. Uh, imagine I repeated everything I said earlier. Um, thank you all so much for coming. Thank you, um, Randy, Perp, Kuma, uh, <laughs> uh, AMGG, uh, Fishy, Fishy Jill. Jill. Uh, pure everyone who worked on this, the fucking composer. I forget your name, but you were in chat. I'm so sorry. I'm really bad with names. Fuck. Uh, five hours out of a two to three hour game. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you all so much for coming to this. This was great. Um, and yeah, um, that was fucking awesome. Who is live? You play Forge of Empires now for free. For free. The bunny feeders are live. Ooh, but ooh, Mar, Mar the bunny feeders. The bunnies are on camera. Yo. Oh fuck. What if you raided Mar and then said like, "Play Project Beefer," and then he played it. You could do that if you so desired. Many things are possible. Well, like, what we're gonna. Oh, I just realized this is. We're gonna look at the bunnies. And, uh. Right now, we're just gonna look at the bunnies. Look at them. Look at, look at them. That one's scratching. Yeah. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, babies. Um. Oh, I think, yeah, uh, lose what, Jace? Jace, what? Lu it's a we're looking at bunnies. It's you, Lucy. Oh yeah, that's me. Um, you met a bird today. Awesome. Um, okay. I think we're gonna go raid Mar because I can't think of anyone else where we saw the bunnies for a bit. We're not gonna say, uh, like. Uh, play Project B for. We're gonna say. Understandable. The killer. The, the killer. killer. We are going to. Uh, the killer. Anyways, uh, thank That's you. That's where we'll find the killer. I have been aware of the killer. I'm Since gonna, I was a, a young girl. <laughs> yeah, hold on. We're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna replay the fucking Wendy Williams killer video. She's as, insane. As we go She's to Mar. Hold on. Amazing. Uh, keep Goodbye. keep that pay. We're not. Hold on. Uh. No, Halloween's not my favorite thing because I always feel as though that's a free pass for the killer. Don't let the killer get you. <laughs> like Halloween. The killer. I think it's for ghouls and goblins and for the killer the in disguise killer. to choke you out. Regular scarf. Don't let the killer you get you. Just finish you off. <laughs> I don't want to play music in the shower because I want to hear if the killer the is killer coming. Don't you keep a bag from Yankee you Stadium out. in your night table drawer? They're so convenient. All, all you have to do clunk one time with the killer. I've been aware <laughs> of the killer what? since birth. Now, the fact I, that I she's so that obsessed you with the killer. People are always going to come and get you. No, the killer. What? She always says the killer. Yeah. The killer I killer. And now we live in North no, Jersey. No, no, it's where? the killer. But you're in Hasbro. Uh, well, the killer. You know, I believe in a lot right. of things, including Goodbye. the killer. Have a good you night, everybody. You can meet online. The killer. He's good the night. killer. <laughs> He's the killer. The killer is everywhere. He sounds like he's the killer. The killer is on the loose. The killer. That ended up the fucking...